You're just a bloke in a bar. What do you reckon? Does it work? The blonde hair? Should I keep Dude, it? No, no, it looks good. Yeah, it thanks, bro. Good. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. I'll tell you what, it doesn't look good. 13 plus after you get pounded in your own state. Nah, dude, it looks good. It looks real good. Six points. When's six points been a pounding? You know what a pounding is? 50 <laughs> when points When you get pounded six. in your own state. Nah, 50 points yeah. to six. Yeah, and we, we took our licks. We pounded you three. That was in your own we state. Took we took our licks. 50 points licks. to six. I, I, would never, I, would, I would never rock up in a, a 13 plus. Yeah, because you're not a real fucking fan. Yeah, because you're not a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> you would turn your back on your no, state straight see, that's away. what Queensland's all about, taking responsibility. That's what oh, we're all about. shit. Taking responsibility for our losses. Here, this This is living in La La Land. No, it's not. This is, mate, this is, that's La La Land. Setting up for next game. Yeah. Next game, we wouldn't. No. We're not even in the same week. We're we not even forward. in the same week. We look forward. We're literally not even in the same exactly. week. Exactly. We're it's looking forward. Take some weekend. responsibility. It's next weekend. You lost. We the game's next back. weekend. Yeah, that's not the same week. The game's next weekend. <laughs> the game's next weekend. Yeah, no, it's, just literally it's not the same week. week. It's the game's week. literally the next sides weekend. Haven't even been selected. The game is literally next weekend. That's still not this week. Dude, it's fucking. The last game was like seven days ago. Well, think about this. The last game was last week. The next game's next week. Yeah. And what, you can't wear that? You can't fucking be up and about. Right. I wouldn't. I, don't, I wouldn't see it. If a Queenslander wore that, I'd pull him up. Mm. I'd pull him up. Mm. Mm. I'd say, mate, we lost fair and square. Show some respect to the other side. Then in the week of, the mm. week of, that's when you can start getting chirpy Yeah, again. look, we've always spoken about the importance of six days of mourning. And that's where you basically just go dark for six days. <laughs> and then on the seventh day, like Jesus, you rise again. You rise and, again? Yeah. And that's what's happened. That's is what's this happened. the sixth day? Seventh. Yeah, it's the seventh day. The seventh day. So the seventh day you rise. You rise again. on the seventh day. Oh, okay. Not six on the sixth day. Six day of morning. Is it seven working days? No, no, it's it just seven straight days. Seven straight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. not business on days. On the seventh day. Yeah, the seventh okay. day. Which so is today. Business days would confuse too so much. So not seven it. business days. No, no, it's no. not a business day. Because when it comes to things of this <laughs> nature, business is it's not important. <laughs> so it's seven days, six days of straight morning, seventh day we rise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we have risen. We've risen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jesus. We've so you're back. We're back. Oh, we're back. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> Do we look like what, we're back, Denon? What information has come your way that makes you feel like you're back? Because we were a bee's dick away from a win. It was just, we didn't play our best footy. Simple as that. You played. That's the best Queensland yeah, can play. Yeah, you redlined. You redlined. You redlined. It. You, redlined. you started in fifth gear and there's no way up for you. No. You, you will admit, by your own admission, mm. we were below average. I, from New South I actually thought New South Wales were good. just beat us. And, and you didn't good. really beat us. And you only beat us because Bolo was fucking held back in the scrum. <laughs> yeah. Simple yeah. as that. <laughs> you don't just stroll over in origin. When does that when when play against happen? New South Wales, you do? Even Daly was like, no. uh, felt like something Cherry Evans actually there. said after the game, he goes, mate, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah. He goes, I felt like it was, We're I was waiting for it to get him. called back. He's a mate of ours. He's like yeah. a and fucking I caught him, I go, mate I could, of ours. Because I congratulate him on the win. I'm like, mate, well done. He goes, bro, how, what a jab that fucking child was. He goes, our really? boys were holding him back. Yeah. <laughs> he said yeah, that. Yeah, he goes, yeah. that, Holy like, fuck. that was a plan. You That's, a yeah. That's a scoop. That's a scoop. Well, scoop like, I'm not going to tell anyone, but like, <laughs> that's what he told us. Mm. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. So that's we're an cool. in, bro. So we're good. The Queensland Seven yeah. spoke to you. No, the skipper. The skipper. skipper after yeah. a famous victory. In but you know, we're mates. Yep. You know that. Obviously. We're mates yeah. with the Queensland yeah. 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 You're yeah. mates with the Queensland Seven. Yeah. Skipper. Skipper. Even during this time. Well, that's yeah. interesting. No, that's no, interesting. No, no. no, no we're mates oh. until he pulls on the jersey. Yeah. Oh, so he had the jersey off when we spoke. Oh, okay. But so we're in the week of it, so you can start layering no, but he up. Want, did he but have, you're still mates with the, have the jersey on. Oh, I we spoke that. to him after the game. So week of origin, you're I'm still not mates with him. I'm talking to him now. Okay, but I'm week of origin, are you still mates with him? No, no, I don't even talk to him. We're talking about after the game, though. <laughs> after the game. <laughs> <laughs> Took after the game. Yeah, and well, that's he what told, it's about, mate. And he was like, mate, it was a jab. Yeah, was bullshit. Was a jab. Freddie knew it. Cherry knew it. Slater knew it. We knew it. You knew it. Has Slater become the new king of everything? Nah, dude, nah. Like, is he the well, he won the world? Because he won one game. It, literally his it. debut game. Dude, wait, let's give him a fucking head coaching first, role in the NRL after literally 80 minutes of coaching. First game well done, ever really. coached. Not even 15s, 16s, 20s, whatever. Literally his first game ever coached. He comes down, steals the chockies in New South Wales. So it's, you could call it a fluke. A fluke? Well, The yeah, great Billy Slater. Well, he's got no the greatest idea. fullback of all time fluked it. Well, he's a fullback. Did he sure. fluke his whole great career? Fullback. No, Did he fluke Pappenhausen? Well, great fullback. Hughes? Great drink fullback. water? Great fullback. Drink water, please. That's Todd Payton. <laughs> That's Todd Payton. And we know Jason Taylor had a hand in Pappenhausen. Let's not pretend like we didn't. The great Jason Taylor. And fucking Mick Potter. 
A couple of greats of the game. A couple of greats of the game. I'll tell you what, Mick Potter's doing fucking pretty good at the doggies. Where Where the doggies just with? because Slater met someone in the street doesn't mean that he fucking passed on all the bloody goodness exactly. to him. Oh, yeah, Slater fucking, you know. Met someone in the street. He had a coffee with Jerome Hughes and now Jerome <laughs> Hughes is like, Jerome Hughes is a good halfback. What, yeah. did Slater coach that into him as well? Jesus Christ. Honestly, he probably did. Yeah, he might have. <laughs> uh, no, Billy Slater overrated. Had nothing to do with it. Mm. Um, and as we said... Not to get into the sort of nitty gritty, but mm. we basically won that. We were ripped off. Yeah, we were ripped oh, off. Didn't seem like it. Nah, well, you don't think that. it seemed like it? Not at all. Mm. You don't it think like it was like a you good, don't strong was, win? You don't think he was held back? <laughs> Do you think he was held back? <laughs> Not for any substantial was he held amount. Back? Don't I just no just was, was he was yes he, or held no, was he held no back? differently yes or to no was he held scrum. back? No differently. Yes or no was he held back? No differently. Yes or no was he held back? No. Fucking liar. No, liar. liar. Because within the context of the game, liar, liar, every pants. scrum funny, is like it's that. It's funny how the tune changes when the cameras are on. That's yeah. all I'll say. <laughs> That's all I'll say. What I'll say is maybe just take responsibility that two players made the wrong call in defence and that's why we scored. He was Rather, held back. You admitted it off camera. Now you're lying. <laughs> Some sort of fucking narrative. I don't actually concept. recall admitting it off camera. Well, of course well, you did. Of it's course you did. <laughs> Mate, we, we, we have accepted the loss. Yeah. yeah. We've digested We've it. We've digested also dissected it. it. There are things in that okay. game Can and through players the in the game that could have done better, that didn't do better. Has Freddie made some mistakes? Is Freddie beyond reproach? No. In Freddie we trust, yes. But is he beyond reproach? Absolutely not. Now, you know, in hindsight, is fucking loyalty when it suits the best approach? Maybe Maybe. Not. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe Mate, not. it's one game in a three-game series. Why is everyone getting so hot under the collar? Like it's Queensland impossible is, to win in Queensland? Yeah. Mm. Well, well, what's we, impossible to win up there? It no, is. No. We do it for collar. fun. We do it for fun. What's going on there? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. Oh. Honestly, I've had this for a while. Oh, shit. I've had this for a while. Oh, wow. That's just... Does this make you feel weird? No, it's something, yeah. It's fucking going on there. I mean... You are beyond predictable. Yeah. We, we fucking saw this. You one literally did not see this coming at all. Oh, we saw oh, it. We, we said, actually talked about it in the car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we yeah. wonder what he's wearing today and then you walked in with a hair. Does, this, like, does mm. this hurt you though? Like when you see this guy <laughs> pound you into the <laughs> earth. <laughs> fucking face. That damn smile. <laughs> Gets you every time. <laughs> so I just thought, oh, I'm just a fan of Cam. I didn't do this to put you off today no, or anything right. like that. No, is this a, I'm is a mate. He's my mate. Yeah, yeah, right. Is, is, that mate. A, is that a monster? Is that monster merch or is it a year? No, no, this is one off. I'm just a mate. Oh, okay. You've never put your mate's head on a shirt or a jumper. Well, no, no, not particularly. I d listen, is it? I like it. I, I'm going to be honest. I like, that, I like that jumper. That's not a bad. That's a good it's jumper. a good it's jumper. Good. But there is an old saying: you never put your mate on a jumper that if is. you're a real mate. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? That old saying. Have I put Tom on a jumper? No. Well, maybe you're not mates. Well, no. I'd say quite the contrary. We are. Very quite. The <laughs> That's I'd all I'm saying. It's, all good. it's is, an old, it's an old adage. Yeah, this is a it's huge, terrible omen. It's a terrible omen. No, you know what's a good omen? Terrible he omen. He played so well, he broke the blonde hair curse. No, he played well you before you put, before broke, you put him on a jumper. He broke the blonde hair curse. So is that can why we you, confirm that, please? That That's you, all I ask. Is that why you've dyed your hair blonde? Yeah, or is uh, that to pay respect of, to pay respect to a king. You yes. said you lost a bet to our Lord and Savior Munster. Yes. You said you lost a bet about Kendrick Lamar. Was that yeah, a lie? Yeah, bit of a whirlpool. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a whirlpool. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Just to throw you off the tracks. Oh, you threw us way off. Yeah, that's what we do. Just like when Tarek Sims and DCE went the wrong way, DCE well, scored. Well, threw him off the track. I mean, you know, dummy. No, no that dummy. Was, show and go. That's what we did. I show mean, and go. That was Junior Bolo getting ripped off. Show and go. It was getting little. It was a little baby. Show and go. Getting ripped off. Look, Munster was good. Munster was and credit listen, to him. Munster was great. Yeah. Credit to I him. I love Munster in a non-origin context. And even from a self-loathing context, <laughs> Munster in origin is just so goddamn good. The problem for me as a New South Wales fan is we've got the best halves in the competition, apparently, who don't seem to do that in origin. He's won three origin series. Who, Munster? Cleary. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. But has he ever done anything like that? <laughs> yeah, but they're different kinds of players. Right. Well, I need you to do some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is, what he's saying okay. is, we can see a kid over there with a, with a fucking, with a new toy, like a really okay. sparkly new toy. Yeah. And our toys are okay. But they're not but, that sparkly. But that, that toy's pretty sick. <laughs> it's fucking sparkly. It's sparkly as shit. And our toy can do this, but their toy can do that. <laughs> And we like to look and at it. And our toy point. didn't do what it said on the box in Origin. Now, are didn't you do doing it. exactly what you accused Brisbane Broncos fans of doing to paint Huss? Even though Cleary literally didn't 
back out of a contract. We love Cleary. Hang yeah, on, this isn't him. about Cleary. This is saying that we we like the look of that toy. Okay. We That's like all that we're toy. saying. We're saying the toy looks nice. What's wrong with that? No, it, well, it sounded like you said no. that the toy is not doing what it said on the well, box. Well, it didn't do what it said in the box. I'm not going to lie. Because on the box, it said we'd get a W. And it we said we'd get a W. <laughs> on the toy it box. It said W is yeah. guaranteed. Guaranteed. It said, it yeah, said best that's kicker exactly in the what it said. <laughs> Holy it shit. It said we'll pound wingers and fullback into the earth yeah, and with, guarantee with W. That's what it said on the box. Kick the, mm. kick the, kick the cock out of the ball. Selwyn Cobbo is going to be bombed into fucking retirement. I was also promised on the box uh, a, a few Nathan Knuckles. Yeah. He, didn't knuckle, get, he didn't knuckle anyone. He didn't knuckle anyone. I was also promised, like, like, you know, the best attack in the NRL, it didn't happen. <laughs> Penrith, 50 fucking players in the side, you know, like, it didn't happen. Now, before the game, uh, you, your memories may, may be hazy. We had a live show. And I said to you, what happens if Munster pounds you into the earth? Because that's what's going to happen. And mm-hmm. you said, that's never happening. It's mm-hmm. nonsense. Mm-hmm. He can't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you recall saying that? No. I, because to be honest, to be honest, I I don't remember it either. But I think that what I think I would have said, if my memory serves, <laughs> Munster's a terrific young man yeah, shiny, and a terrific a terrific young player, yeah. uh, a shiny young toy, and I think that on his day, yeah. he has the ability to to grind out a win. <laughs> What, and I think that's what we saw. What I think the most. I think my comments were rather measured. Yeah. I think what's the most disappointing is that Queensland, like, sort of don't really honour the players that really got the job done. Now, sure, Munster, like, flashy new toy. Look, I got blonde hair and I'm a fucking larrikin. Where's Where's fucking poor old Val Holmes sitting, primed and hard as fucking? Not one person jumping up and down on that hog. Where's everyone sucking Me off Val Holmes? Me and Cam Holmes? Smith were jumping on his hog on the Thursday. Where's everyone sucking off Val Holmes, punters and dribblers? The Queenslanders are leaving poor old Val there. Probably one of his best games for Queensland ever. Reuben Cotter of 80 minutes of Jack to the Tits fame. <laughs> and all Kempi wants to come in here and just, it's all fucking flash what about the poor? What about the poor old skipper? What about the poor old skipper? What about the poor old skipper? DCE. I didn't see anyone up in arms when Ben Hunt fucking robbed Daly of an origin double. What was that mean-spirited bullshit? That ain't Queensland spirit. Mm. Fucking dummy inside <laughs> to the open skipper and then throw one outside to who the fuck cares? Mm. What a joke. Queensland yeah. spirit's fucked. New South Wales. I'll quote place. the great Billy Slater. Who's he? Said, he? <laughs> he said, we're not talking about Cotter. You know why? Because we expect that from Cotter. Exactly. Cotter yeah. is Queensland. What, so you don't expect good shit Cotter from Cotter is Munster? Queensland. That's yeah. what he said. That's what Billy said. He said, Cotter is Queensland. Cotter and, you know, we're, celebra- we're celebrating Munster because he's on the straight and narrow and he's doing everything right. He's moving, he's shaking, and he's tearing you apart in your own state again. Mm, nah. Again. Mm-mm. That's why we celebrate Munster. Munster wasn't the best player on the It's team. a redemption story. And we it love was Cherry Evans stories. and Val Holmes and Ruben Cotter, and Munster is just, you know, it's a blonde hair thing. That's all it is. He hasn't broken any curse. In he's fact, broken the Queenslanders blonde hair curse. are a fucking cursed by blonde hair. Yeah, you won the game, but you didn't, like, I think that the real... The hens will come home to roost, I believe, is the saying, Edward. Oh, they'll roost. They'll yeah. roost. The so hens you, will come home yeah. and they will roost. Yeah, I, I just, I'm concerned about I hope your head doesn't fall out. Now My head doesn't fall out. Yeah, Could you like, imagine if it actually did? Well, I That'd be <laughs> hilarious. That would actually be pretty funny. I, look, at the end of the day, you won fair and square. Okay. And that's mm. fine. Thanks. It Not was fair all, and square, though. It was a, you won. well... It wasn't square. It wasn't fair. <laughs> it wasn't fair, nor was, but it, was square. it wasn't square but either. It really didn't stay square. They didn't stay square. Well, no, well, you could stay square. That could have tackled At the end of the day, at the end of the day, in all honesty, so it wasn't square. In all uh, honesty, it should have been. Time. It should have been a draw. <laughs> like in all honesty, it yeah. should have been a draw. But it doesn't really change the outcome of where we get to, right? Because we're still going to go to Perth and win. And we're still going to go to Queensland and win, which we will. Yep. Which we will. Mm. Oh, I forgot this fucking. There was there is actually extra time, so clearly probably slots one from forty out. We win. Mm. It's by Basically the by. It's by the by. I'll allow you to win this game. That's fine. Okay. That's just fine because you know what's good for Origin. What? Getting the Queenslanders stirred up, <laughs> thinking they can fucking win something. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. That's good for the game of uh, Origin. It's good for rating. It's good for the coffers. It's good for the game. It's good for the coffers. It's good for us. It's good for the yeah. fans. Mm. That's good for us. You thinking you've got a shot in shit going into the next two games is good for Origin. It's mm. good for the product. Mm. Queenslanders are like a swarm of bees and we're beekeepers and we're getting you all stirred up and you think that you're in control, but we got the smoke here and we're calming you down. We're taking your honey. This is just about getting <laughs> Queenslanders stirred <laughs> up yeah. and we come in We want you to we produce honey. honey. So we're stirring you up, produce, 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 and then okay. bang. All we right. take the honey, we fuck off, and you guys and like, the honey comb, dude. And you go, oh, shit, New South Wales had us again. Uh, okay. Now, yeah. do you think that, to be honest, 
wearing a 13 plus jumper mm. outside of the week of origin no it is, is it's next week it's next the week, dude. biggest curse in history it's next week dude it's not this week though is it no, it's next week. says the bloke wearing a monster jumper yeah outside of origin outside of origin i'm talking about his performance from that game you're talking what about you next, mean? That was, next game what do you mean it was a week away that was like that was, that like was a week ago last it's like it's closer you know what it's closer than the next game well actually you know what it is it's not because you can't go back so it's actually couldn't be further away from the next game's closer yeah the next game because it will because the next game will happen yeah well, you can't go back to the old yeah. game what are you talking about? We're talking <laughs> about sense, celebrate. Dude. So you're saying you're never celebrate closer, anything right? then? I'm saying yesterday is further away than... <laughs> we've had, we've literally had a full round of rugby league in between that and... Yeah. Whatever and that's, that how, is. that's how strong his performance was. That's how no, dominant he was. Very bad. 13 over. plus. Very bad. 13 over. plus, not the week of origin. I love this jumper. That's yeah, curse. This is really good. I love this that's jumper. That's scary. That's scary this stuff. This thing might be available. That, what, is it going to be available? Hundreds of everywhere. Look, I don't know. It, has nothing, it is a cool jumper. It's election based, but uh, it's so, not so yeah, it's, it's we're, we're predicting next year that New South Wales mm. Liberal government will win 13 plus seats in Parliament. In Parliament. <laughs> that's, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That does make a lot of sense. Yeah. So, so this is an, this I will is say an that origin no, 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 this is this is a political, political this is a politically political. You guys are piece. quite political. Yeah, we're very political. Very political. <laughs> we're uh, political guys. Yeah, so yeah. if you want a political jumper, yeah. um, hellosport.shop this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> this Sunday. Mm. I tell you what, they're good yeah. jumpers and yeah, you're not yeah. going to get them anywhere else. That's no, for sure. No, no, no. Certainly not, not this political show jumper. Show your support no. for the potentially the Liberal Party, depending on what colour they are. I don't know. Liberal. Liberal Party. New South Wales. In next year's election. We need 13 plus seats. Plus <laughs> geniuses. Absolute geniuses. Seats. 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 See, there's Political a seat. seats. 13, so, yeah, I see it. I get it. I get it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, this also makes a lot of sense. <laughs> he's a hero. <laughs> and maybe he's going to run for... What would you... Team. What yeah. would you... State Parliament. State Parliament. What I would I'd go for him. you do for him? What wouldn't I do for him? Yeah. Honestly, he can... Whatever what's he off, needs. What's off the table? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his monster wants, he gets. Yeah. He's so, nothing, so nothing's you, off the you table. You give him some Remy. Look, I didn't bring that up. You did. I'm asking. My mind's not there. My mind's talking more about, look, if you need a fave, you need me no, to like drive you. If you need to drive your mate somewhere or drop you off because you're drinking or, you're, or whatever. He doesn't not drink, drinking does anymore. He? If you need me to take you to somewhere and you don't want to pay for a cat, whatever it is, I'll do that. Would you Remy? <laughs> After 65 <laughs> tough origin minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 15 Would to you? go, game of the balance. Yeah. Would you Remy to... With him? Yeah. No. Would you with Cleary? Yes. Mm, for a win. <laughs> for a win, yeah, yeah, for a win. Yeah, for a win. I need that caveat. Holy though. shit. Not for a loss. Um, truthfully, he's fucking sick. He is he's fucking sick. So and watching good. what he does, like... Has, any, like, oh, okay. has like, anyone ever fucking, done that? Well, what he they does? say, like, they're comparing him to Wally and shit. I wonder whether, like... Did Wally do that shit? I, I never really watched that much I of didn't Wally, watch so... Wally. I, can't I think really it was, like, the way I heard him talking about with what, in regards to Wally was just, like, when the game needed someone to do something, he mm. would do something. It's like, and also the stuff he does, no one else does it. Yeah, that's like, the thing. It's no not one else like does it. conventional. The one where he made the break, where he basically ran around like. That would have made me furious if I was in New South Wales. I was, he was furious. Like, <laughs> he missed uh, like one player whose name I won't mention because it's not important. Uh, missed, two, missed him twice in that <laughs> sequence. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? And that's why as we stand here in preparation for next year's uh, state election. Uh, I think I'm calling for changes. <laughs> I, uh, what's frustrating for me watching Munster play is he'll like prance across the field and throw five or six dummies to no one. <laughs> no one. And people just go, just buy what he's selling. Yeah. He's like the greatest salesman of all time. Oh, yeah, he sells. Yeah. It is unbelievable. He should go into real estate because I think he fucking selling every day. Yeah, he would. Dude, Jordan Belfort yeah, should be looking over his... F- he probably learned everything he knows off He taught him the Pentry. Must, must have taught Belfort the Pentry. Yeah. Seriously, because he's got Pentry written all over him because he's fucking... Literally, oh, who wants it? Who sell wants me it? This no one else no, is Sell there. me this Steedon. That's what he Sell does. me this Steedon. He's going, he, all right. No one has sold a Steedon. No one yeah. has sold a Steedon like Cameron Munster. He no. should do seminars. And the top, our bet, the best of the best, mm. our best guys, mm. New South Wales best guys, buy that fucking Steedon. Every time. Every time. Well, but he's not even selling it to him, is he really? He's going, here's a Steedon. Like, I'll buy it. And he's like, yeah, joke's on you. Thanks well, for paying for you know, it. Belfort. I mean, was no really stock. No, no, no. no stock. No stock. It's, it's not really valuable stock, but I'm pretending it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Well, Jordan Belfort, the king of the boiler room. You know what I mean? Tell you what, Wolf of Wall Street, one of the all-time new, uh, movies. No, nah, it's a good film. It's great. It's Leo, awesome. Leo's fucking yeah. good. He's good. Margot Robbie, potentially the hottest woman to have ever lived in that film. 
I would agree with that. In fact, I would. I would. I think I would, we can. I defend that, that to the, yeah. the end of time. Yeah. Hotter than Rose from Titanic. Yeah. Yes. See, she doesn't hold a sweet spot. Move enough. over, Rose. Yeah, no, no. Margot Robbie, Ange Australian. Woo! In fact, that'd be that'd be well served to go back and put Margot Robbie <laughs> into Titanic. Just like put her head on yeah. Rose. Uh, listen, I like Kate Winslet in Titanic, though. Man. And I'm a Kate Winslet fan. Kate Winslet's good. Shout but, out to, what was she in recently? Very good. Oh, the TV the, show. Oh, Mary show. Yeah. Mary yeah. That's a great yeah, fucking show. She was fucking good. She was good so that. good. Margot that. Robbie could have done a good job on that as well. She would have done a better job. Yeah. Uh, Margot Robbie <laughs> would have done a better job. Uh, she would have just, like, you know, sassed it up a bit. Yeah. Margot Robbie, hottest human to have ever lived. You disagree with that? Look. You don't, you, mean, like, you'd rather. I'm not going to argue against it. But no. you'd, ra- you'd rather be in Camp Pom than, than Camp Aussie? Huh? Oh, because oh no 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 I, I I agree she's you hate country <laughs> no no I agree Sounds like I, no. oh no I agree oh, no. that she's better than Rose physically but there's more to life than physical oh spice. no that's not what I'm saying I'm saying it's a whole package she's Australian she's smart she's intelligent she's Australian she's Australian yep. mm. she's also very good looking which I just thought Rose point. had a special place in your heart that's all my bad my bad Look, maybe I'm sensitive to I know what you're saying and you're referring to my love of all things yeah, Titanic I'm just and I'm with you yeah but listen. <laughs> Margot Robbie is Australian. She's terrific. Yeah. Intelligent. She's very intra- attractive. Very intelligent. Uh, she's Australian. Yes. Accomplished. Yep. She's, Kate producing she's her killing own it. Movies That's right. And Kate Winslet is a great actress. She mm. was in Titanic. So not there's Australian. two. Not but Australian. there's two big points there. But she's she's English. Okay. Not Australian. Fair enough. That makes sense. So, that makes sense. I was more referring to you know the fresh off fresh off an ashes humping. Yeah. I'm sort of like you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm anti English at the moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it's so easy to be. Because like we're so fucking dominant. She yep. was actually re- like she almost stole the show in Wolf of Wall Street. It just from her presence alone. Yeah. Not yep. even just you know she's obviously a good looking woman, but she was actually such a good foil for everything that happened in that she movie. She was fantastic. She put a great accent on as well. Yeah, she's also Australian. Is she like, yeah? She put on yeah. a Boston accent, but she's Australian. Isn't she's she? Australian. Yeah. 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 Aussie, Aussie, Her- Aussie Her- Her- heritage. Yeah. No, I think so. I think Queens Queensland maybe. Yeah. Well, is she- I believe so. Yeah. Does she know my stuff? Nah. Okay. No, no, no. She actually goes from New South Wales. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she's from Queensland. She hates the place. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Fun fact. The good thing is she's Australian. Can confirm here. Can confirm Australian. And also <laughs> the best looking human to have ever existed. Uh, but yeah, one of the great. So Munster, he should start seminars. And instead of sell the pen, it's sell the student. Yeah, dude. Mm. Sell the student. Mate, he's a seller. I, I thought you were saying seminars, and I think you could sell his semen. <laughs> Did I say seminar or I seminar? I thought you said seminar, but I did be in support well, our, of both. Our friends across the ditch would say seminar. Seminar. Yeah. Isn't that? That's true. Dude, and I it? think you could sell his loads. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I didn't know we were taking it there, but yeah, I agree with you. Well, I'm saying- I was going down tra- the real estate route. No, because route I'm like- talking about when you're trying to like, like horses. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You start putting them out to stud. Service fee. Tom. Service fee. He's yep. making more probably in that than he would for his NRL contract. Mate, some of the best horses are getting, you know, in their prime up, up to three hundred grand a, a nut. <laughs> so you know what I mean? That's a that's a three hundred grand a nut. That's a middling front row forward. <laughs> <laughs> or or he could go into real estate seminars and be like, sell the steed and sell the house. Got yeah, loads if you, as well if if you, you can yeah. sell if you can sell the steed and you can sell anything. Exactly. Or meet me on the back. I've got loads of three hundred grand as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, if you're, you know, if you're if in you the market them. for a load, <laughs> yeah. then they're all set for sale. <laughs> um, Whoa. Yeah. yeah, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Well, welcome Whoa. to another Whoa. episode of Bloke in a Bar. Mm. <laughs> uh, Bloke Jumpers dropping next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. We've got black and brown and they're full trackies as well. We've got bloke trackies as well, matching. Uh, next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Make sure to set your alarm, guys. You know last year they sold out. Basically in the first five minutes. Can we get some of those? I tried them on at the live show. They're comfy as fuck. Yeah, 100%. Delightful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Did you, did you, I said you could take one for the... Oh, but then you'd have to carry it around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, sweet. 100%. Uh, large or extra large? I'd say I'm probably an XL, but I do intend on being a large. I'll be a large. Too. You've been pounding pavement lately. I've been seeing the videos. Are you feel like... No, nah, I don't feel better yet because my diet has not caught up with my intentions. Yeah, okay. I pounded a block of chocolate and, a, and, a, and an Easter egg on the couch the other night. Easter egg? Mm, yeah, it was a... It was a what what's an Easter egg doing in your... What chocolate? Uh, my mother-in-law had an Easter egg and I took it. Um, <laughs> uh, the chocolate Cadbury dairy milk, what are you fucking talking about? Oh, I just thought you might have got fruit and nut or something. No, fruit and nuts for sick fucks. It is, it's, it's quite a... You don't a, like fruit and nut? It's certainly not my choice of... 
I'm with I'm with I'm with you, Tommy, on yeah. this one. Fruit and nut. Oh, I'm, dude, I'm eating chocolate. Good, I want to just go all out. I just want chocolate. Yeah, bro. fruit and nuts. I don't mind so nut. Good. Nut. I like nut as well. And fruit and nut. Not monster. Try nut. fruit and nut, bro. Chocolate. Chocolate. Try okay, fruit and nut. It'll blow you. I've tried fruit and nut. Have you tried it? Yeah, of course I've tried it. It's it's just like you've tried carrot cake. Yeah, too much fruit and nut. Do we need to bring a fruit cake thing in here and sit it there? Hey, you were with me. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with. Sorry, I apologize. I'm with you. I'm with you. Fuck fruit and nut. Love fruit and nut. Chocolate. Love fruit and nut. Blood um, jumpers on sale. Sorry. Blood jumpers on sale, 6 p.m. next Wednesday. Full trackies. So we've got the trackies and the trackies that, not the ones that like fan out, like fucking <laughs> tapered. <laughs> they're tapered. They come in around your ankles. They're great. They're comfy as anything. Uh, they're coming in classic brown and black. So set your alarms. They'll you know most likely sell out. Uh, limited amount. Uh, they've taken ages to get here. Oh my God, it's been a nightmare to get them. But they're here. They're here next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Also, Bloke Beer is in every single Celebrations Bottle O Porter's Liquor and IGA Plus Liquor in New South Wales and ACT. Get in, grab a case. That's how we keep the world. That's how we keep the lights on, guys. That's how we keep the lights on. Plus, it's a beautiful beer. Also, Mid Strength is slowly filtering out into every single liquor legends in Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, and Victoria. It's a beautiful, easy drinking Mid Strength. You guys drank the Mid Strength the oh, other yeah, day. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's all I had, man. Oh, it's easy drinking. Pound it was actually beautiful. It was actually beautiful. On yeah, it was night. really nice. I yeah. had several. Yeah. Um, I had several. I, I, and I loved every single one of them. I'm honestly torn between that and the normal one uh, on taste. I really, I really like it. I think they both taste fantastic. Um, so Can't make sure to grab a case. Uh, they're be- it's a beautiful beer, plus it supports the platform. Now, big news, boys. Big news. First one we to this. The World Cup. Mm. So soccer, we've all become soccer fans. Of course. Before now. Always have we been. always have been, mate. Yeah. But I want to talk about one of the greatest moments of Omen Ring I personally have seen, but I want to get confirmation that it is Omen Ring. So just before he makes the save, we can see in this picture here. Eddie Redmayne. Look in the top left corner. Mm-hmm. If your eyes can see it, it's a jersey that says Aloisi. Now, if you recall correctly, Aloisi was the man that got us into the World Cup quite a few years ago. Yep, 2005. Five. Is that is that some of the craziest omen in your omenry you've seen or not? Look, I wouldn't say it's the craziest omen I've ever seen, but it is a nice. I like, think I think what you're seeing there is a man channeling the spirit yes. okay. of John Aloisi. That's that's okay. more of a channel. That's not a mo- That's not that's not an omen. That's okay. I'm I'm drawing in the energy that was the Aloisi uh, goal. My bad. My and bad. pumping it into Eddie Redmayne yeah. of great Bush Ranger beard fame. Yeah. Uh, the dancing he was doing for the, the save was incredible. Yeah, it was wiggles. Well, he moves well. He fucking moves well, really but well. But he, he was also channeling an Australian icon in the wiggles and going, all right, how am I going to throw off this Peruvian fucking goal kicker? I need to embrace my, you know, Everybody clap, you know, so, you know, whatever the fuck the Wiggles dancers are. Yeah. You know. know. I should know. Don't you know? Well, I do, but I don't know exactly what that one was. That might have been either one that the Wiggles are about to drop or it's just one that I don't remember. But he certainly was channeling both the Australian icon in Aloisi and the Australian icon in the Wiggles. And you put those two together, he was never missing that. So one of the beautiful moments, the Australians are in the World Cup. I think they automatically get $15 million, which is much needed in Australian soccer. What a moment. Like the last, they were $5. They were paying $5 to beat Peru. <clears throat> the last penalty, he has to save it. A beard of, consequ- a beard of consequence. Oh, yeah. Gets it done. Look at how thick that thing is, dude. <clears throat> yeah. No, that that pitch is pixelated as fuck, and you can still see thickness. Yeah. Tweetness. What a, what a moment. Like, <laughs> there's that. I can't believe the bloke actually brought the jersey. Mate, yes. I'm telling you, he's channeling Aloisi energy. That's yeah. what he's doing. That guy gets energies, he gets vibes, he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's like, now is my time to play a role for yeah. the nation. Mm, yeah. He's a woo-woo. The he's nation woo-woo needs operator. me now. He's woo-woo operator. I can guarantee Big he's time. got five or six crystals in his pocket <laughs> yeah. and he's just gone, bang, where's my Aloisi long sleeve? Yep. Hang it over the rail. Eddie Redmayne will pick up on the energy, pick up on the vibe and Aloisi in through his cosmic energy, he's been like, go right, dude. Go to yeah. your right. Do you reckon he heard that like, Aloisi right, in his head? Like, yeah. there's gonna I be can guarantee you John Aloisi's whispering in his ear, dude. Go to your right. Yeah. <laughs> For go the nation. Your ride go for, the right nation. for the nation. Let's go to our fifth straight World Cup. Dancing guitar, that's sort of fucked up, but it's okay. <laughs> go to your right. It is what it is. Guitar's a human rights nightmare, but fuck it. It's, we need to go there. Go to your right. Go to your right. Go to your right. <laughs> And he did. And he did go to his right. I feel like Aloisi probably should. Up? Like, I feel like Aloisi probably shouldn't have got into moral and ethical conundrums. Um, I think that he was before just covering his bases. Oh, you know, okay. in case it got leaked. In case it got leaked, yeah. and it did. Dude, but like, you know, John, 
acknowledge that it is you know problematic but it's like it's still it's a world cup john we is a smart it. guy he reads the room he knows it's 2022 he knows that you get cancelled at, at the drop of a hat even he's got spirit. his he's got his legacy to protect yeah true 2005 is one of the great moments in the history of the nation and he knows that as and a he's spirit just ever been cancelled yeah, I'll fuck yeah, you. You can dude. cancel spirits, you can cancel dude. Spirits, mate. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, bro. You can cancel spirits. And they're way harder to uncancel because they're not on this sort of ethereal plane. <laughs> you can cancel a spirit, Dan. That's, that's, that's the dumbest thing question. you ever said. That's a silly question. <laughs> and John knows that. Um, so John also not dead, so not a spirit. But, you know. Well, he had to no, be no, there no, in no, spirit. He was there He's, in spirit. Yeah, it's channeling there in spirit. John, John, I just wanted to just clear that up in case anyone thought that John no, was No, John's still with it. John's still with us. Looking fine as anything. Well, like a fine wine. Fine wine. Fine wine. You could dine out on John. Could you? He'd be dining out for the nation. If he doesn't get a free beer every, get, everywhere oh, he, he goes. No, nah, he does. He does. He's a friend of ours. Yep. And we know that he does. He's a good mate. <laughs> He's so, a look. great mate. But it was fucking good to see. Socceroos through to their fifth. Everyone wrote, it, wrote us. Right? Wrote us. Wrote, wrote us, us off. off. Yep. Uh, write us off at your own peril. That's all I'll say. I think, Tom, and I know you agree with this. Have we been a bigger sniff for World, Club, World Cup glory than we I've have? never been more confident in us taking the big thing out. I think this year, no bullshit. This is, a, this, is, this is honestly, truly how I feel. This is our year. I think that we win the, the triple this year. I think we win the 2020 World Cup in the cricket. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can already give it to us now. We're defending champs. No one will, no one will come near us. I yep. think we win the World Cup in rugby league. I mean, who else is going to fucking beat us? Let's be no fair to Like, dude, like, what are we, are we, are we taking the piss here or no, not? No, 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 no. Like, no you may as well just fucking give it to us now. Mm. And off the back of that, that'll buoy the boys to great heights, mm. supreme heights. We'll win the fucking soccer World Cup as well. Boom, boom, boom. And everyone will have to get on their knees and also bow to us. Also, the yeah, everyone. manly win the comp. Four. It's a four, Pete. So if you live on the peninsula or you support I was the with club, you all the way till the end, Nick, but sorry. The thing's coming. Oh, and you said the win the shield. Yeah. So <laughs> it's our year, baby. It's our year. Wow. Um, and just quietly, did you see the videos, Kid Leroy? Did he have the wiggles on? He did, didn't he? The wiggles on before he's... So Kid Leroy, like probably one of our most famous pop stars we've had, maybe getting close to... Not ever. Top, top tier. Like oh, he's top, top tier. tier. Yeah, well, I mean, you know like, songs with Juddy Babes, you know? Incredible. Gets the wiggles on before he's... What a bloke. What a bloke. Yeah. He, now, so he got the wiggles on, but in the Sydney show, he brought out 1-4. So, so there's no, there's no fucking... He's no, all about it. He's all over the place. He's, which no, is but good. He's no, all about like Australian him. He's culture. all just about Australian shit. I wonder if he, if he like, hid that, that 1-4 was playing. Aren't they just banned from yeah, everyone? Yeah, of, of course he did. Yeah, He would have had to. Because yeah. the, the concern that, uh, that I've read is that if they do promote it, then the people coming, there could be an issue, like, in the crowd. Whereas if they don't promote it and they just rock up, very hard to like get angry at Kid Leroy because like he's like no one knew that we're gonna be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, great. I mean, look, Kid Leroy, talk about reading the room. Oh, and come back good. to Australia. Dude, what about his Queensland show? He Kid was Roy putting up the it. origin scores throughout his whole the, the whole. He's, thing. he's one of the he's one of the all time room readers. Yeah, yeah. He, he read, read the whole room. nation. Yep. He yeah, and then he cancels the Melbourne show because it's fuck you know, Melbourne. Melbourne. Like yeah. he reads the room. Yeah, yeah. He gets it. Guy gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't oh, cancel Melbourne. Sydney or Queensland. Everyone get here. Sorry, I got something on. I got <laughs> fucking forgot. I have a. I've got a meeting. Fuck, is that the time? Um, look, not going to be able to make it. Do you reckon he was stinging because New South Wales lost? So that's why I cancelled yes. it. Which is good reading the room. Maybe it was morning. Morning that you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that would make sense. You, we do have. We did have six days of morning officially. <laughs> Actually, now this was the weekend before. So <laughs> that's true. So it was more just a fuck. He was Melbourne just, I think it was, just, <laughs> was just a fuck Melbourne thing to be honest. <laughs> Love you, Melbourne, but like this is Kid Leroy. I'm talking about respectfully, Kid Leroy. obviously. Kid Leroy hates Melbourne. Not me. Not yeah. <laughs> You're just busting on the message. Yeah. yeah. Um, Not us, dude. We love, we love Melbourne. Now, speaking of, you know, music festivals or music shows, there was a festival, uh, the Scissor, Fe Scissor Festival on the weekend. Did you catch that? I wasn't, I wasn't at Scissor Fest, but Maddie I do would have know been that, well, that's what I, I did know that some friends of ours, acquaintances of ours yeah, yeah. were at Scissor Fest scissoring. I heard about this. Their scissor, life away. Yeah, scissoring like to death. The fact he's even here, I'm shocked by how yeah. was Scissor Fest 2022? Yeah, it was great. Uh, they put it on the long weekend out in the out in the bush. No reception in in Wiseman's Ferry. So mm. this is what he was doing. Some bizarre place out in the middle of Orange or some shit. Looks cold. It does look cold. Looks super it was, cold. It was cold. 
And he's out there scissoring to this dude, look EDM. At this. Dude, I bet you that the metal of the scissors was freezing. Holy shit. you got to be committed to scissoring if you're doing it in minus four degrees. Dude, if you're scissoring in sub temperatures, you could get stuck together. <laughs> maybe that's what you want as a scissor. Well, yeah, maybe. Holy heckers. Have a look at it. Full Jesus. door. It's it a doesn't... full door. Was there many people there, Matty? It was a private door. So it was for a birthday. Oh, it was for a birthday. Okay. Yeah. Scissor festival. Yeah, looks, scissor like, festival. looks like it was compulsory to, to be full to the brim. Is that... What do you mean? No. You know okay, I mean. Yeah, correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't act innocent. Yeah, don't. You went there to scissor a bunch of people. Now you're going to pretend to be two good, goody yeah, two shoes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave no it at the door, bro. Um, so, yeah, just want to celebrate. No, no, celebrate Scissor, scissor Fest. Matt, proud of you, mate. Yeah. Thank you. It was good, good to weekend. see you letting the hair down, enjoying I some time off. I love watching Matty on IG. Yeah. I, uh, it's I, one yeah, of the, yeah. you, mate, you're so active on IG, and yeah, I, love I love it. it. You yeah. post three or four times a day. Yeah. So everyone, give Matty at Matt Buxton 01. Matt Buxton 22. You 22. should change it to at Matt at Buxton. Scissor, at Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> at Edward Scissorlegs. Matt Scissorlegs. Matty Scissorlegs. Um, so at Matt yeah, Buxton 22, covered. did you say? Yeah. Give Matt Buxton a fo follow because do you know what? It's more interesting than my Insta. Yep. It's more interesting. I mean, we barely post. He's no. out there fucking. Mate, he's out there. Yeah, I post about once hinders. a year. Mine's, yeah. And mine's all like, you know, just photos yeah. of my babies and shit. So yeah. no one's really coming yeah. there for anything cool. Mine's like the. The obligatory uh, Elza post once yeah. a year. Girlfriend Look, there it is. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. It's, it's done. It's done. Yeah. There it is. But that's it's what done. you're about, Eddie. That's what you're about. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. about showing your loved ones yeah, you love them. And you're all it, about bro. that. I'm all about that life, bro. Um, but also follow me if you want. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, follow Eddie Simpson. For Ella content once a year. Yeah. <laughs> It'll, that's uh, exclusive. You're like one of those celebrities that like never post. Real mysterious. Yeah, I am. I'm a mysterious guy. <laughs> Very mysterious. Yeah. I only post about bloke stuff and pretty much about the missus. Pretty much it. Yeah, my missus has been shafted for for the kids. Oh really? Yeah, Damn. she'll get in there maybe sometimes if it's a photo of her with the babies. Otherwise, mm. it's like I basically just reshare shit she does. She tagged me in photos of the babies. I'm like, all right, there you go. Uh, the good old sh tag from the missus. It's always a uh, should I share this or can I get away with not just like just see yeah. it? And keep yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you know what you say? Didn't say it. Didn't say it. Except it they says say. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> 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 Still just say you didn't see it. Yeah, no, I didn't I just see it. I didn't see it. No, 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 it literally says scene. Oh, so I I like, no, no, no. I was at work and I was doing it. I don't know. I looked when I was doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Don't remember. Oh, how good. Um, look, we, we have a lot of relationship advice here, guys. We yes. always... Um, now, a bit of drama around the West Tigers, which isn't that usual. Like, we don't see that very, very often. Drama no. around the Tigers. No, no it yeah. doesn't happen. Luciane Leilua is granted an immediate release, allegedly reportedly on the grapevine, to the North Queensland Cowboys. So much so, the cow uh, Tigers come out, official post on Instagram, and you know it's official when it comes on Instagram. It has to be official. Well, it's the same way that a missus knows that you're officially dating, right? Yeah. It goes on the That's when you come official on a relationship, when yeah. you post Instagram. Exactly, or that they know that you've officially dogged them by lifting them on scene. Yeah. Yeah. Or when a relationship's fully done, then you are scrubbed from Instagram. Yes. Yeah. The scrubbing. Or if you are found to be up to no good Ooh. in your DMs. Oh, shit. Again, it's yeah. all official. Or, right? Oh, yeah. no, no okay. longer You can't go, him. mate, it happened on Instagram. It doesn't count. Yeah, it's true. Tiger's no longer following Luciano. You're like, ooh, okay, what's going on here? That's official stuff. It's official. It's not like Vegas where what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, 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 no. no, 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 no what happens no, no, on Instagram no, no, no. is official. Is reality. Yeah. Well, it's life <laughs> to many. Yeah. <laughs> However, my... Um, Michelle Bishop from Channel 7 is reporting that the Cowboys may not be able to fit him in their cap this season, saying it's far from a done, done deal. And I think also Michael Luck, the Cowboys recruitment, um, came out and said, it's it's like not done yet. It's not done yet. So right now we have one of the best young wide running forwards without, like not at a club. He's been released from the Tigers, hasn't signed with the Cowboys yet. He's still getting paid by the Tigers though? Well, I, he probably would have got a payout or, or something along those lines. Because one could argue that you are better off from a rugby league standpoint to be not playing at all than playing for the Tigers. I'm not making that. I'm not saying that. I'm okay. saying that some people mm. may make that argument. Yes. Like, am I better off to be paid like what, five, 600 grand a year to not play for the Tigers or to play for the Tigers? I hear what you're saying, Tom. I think you make a terrific point. <laughs> like you could argue strongly that you're better off at Blacktown workers. Yeah playing your trade for the reserve grade seagull mm. than you are at the Tigers. Yeah. Better for your brand. Yeah. That you could mount that argument. Yeah. You're not court. making that. That's not mount, us but, saying yeah. that. You but could, one could mount, mount that. You could mount that argument in court. You could mount it. Now, 
Luciano here. It seems to me like he may well have gone down the path of quit your job before finding a job. Whereas we all know mm -hmm. Chuck a sickie, line up interviews, yeah, gotta yeah. go see me grandma, someone's passed She's away, I'm feeling fucking unwell, and you line up interviews. And when you jag one, baby, you go, I'm out, bruh. Yeah. So you reckon he, he's just gone, yeah, I'll find a club, walked out, he hasn't, he hasn't prepared himself properly. Don't jump off the boat unless you get another one to swim to. Or at he, least jump into. Or jump into. He, yeah. it, doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to me like he sat down with the careers advisor <laughs> and said, how do I do it? What's he, the play? No. Now, do the is that do you, like I thought that all clubs had to have a careers advisor. You know, oh yep. look, here's a brochure for you know. Do you want to go on Antipodeans? Do you want to go over and like do a year building houses and wells and shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like, here's some options if you don't want to go straight into a, another job, mm. but also have you considered real estate <laughs> or seminars with Munster or with Munster? Have you yeah. thought about selling maybe seed? Selling Munster seed. <laughs> a seed salesman. Yeah. That'd pay pretty well. Well, it? I mean, if you're going 300 a load. <laughs> K. What's the commission? Oh, 10%. I have to be 10%. 30K a load. Oh. You're moving oh, move 15, 20, 20 loads a, a, a week? Month? <laughs> what are you looking at? Jesus. A Lot week? I'd say, well, I mean. Mate, if you're moving 10 loads a week, it's 300K a week. Oh, I thought you were for one person, like 10 to 20. I was like, geez, it's a fair, fair whack. I'm saying if you were selling. Yeah. If you were able had multiple to, clients. If you had multiple clients. You, you know, you well, got it. Monster's prolific. You could sell ten Monster loads a week. What a work for Monster. Well, direct to consumer, yeah, probably. <laughs> you could go through a wholesaler, and you probably you'd probably you, sell you a gotta, few more. Yeah, but yeah. You obviously, you, you, you're, you're, losing, you're losing. You're losing some of your commission, yeah. but you know, volume's king. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, real ideas, man. You ideas, can carve man. out a healthy life for yourself. Yeah. Well, so that's, that's the house that loads built. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you tell people yeah. when they come over to visit you. Yeah. So obviously he hasn't had any careers advisors to maybe push him in that direction. I wouldn't have thought so. And I'm basing that purely off the fact that he is jobless. <laughs> how, I don't know how does this happen. Like, how does? Is, does he have a manager? Or oh, no? Is he doing? Is he self-representing? <laughs> I think he's got a manager. Does is it, it seem is like? It, it? Is it Payne Hass's manager? <laughs> is it Tyron? I, whatever his name is. You know what? I honestly think what's happened is is like they've like loosely they want the Cowboys to agree to a certain amount, so they've pressured it by going, "All right, let's just go public with it, make it official." Because I'm assuming that Cowboys have to maybe pay the Tigers a certain amount or something yeah. along those lines. And like maybe his manager thought, well, if we go public with it, Cowboys would just go, oh shit, we have to, we have to pay it. Whereas Cowboys might have just gone, nah, bro, we're not doing that, because it doesn't make any sense that they would go public with it when it's not even he hasn't even signed yet, hasn't even signed yet. I, Very the odd way it was situation. sort of spun to me on NRL three hundred and sixty last night was like Cowboys like fuck, Luke, he's out for the season, let's bring Luch up. It was also like that the Tigers. That Luciano played, so, and this is literally what they're saying on 360, that Luciano played so badly against Manly that the inference was that he just doesn't give a fuck anymore and was mm. intentionally playing badly, which I thought was a pretty intense thing to accuse a player of, like intentionally playing Crazy. fucking badly. Crazy. Um, <clears throat> but so that, that it like forced the Tigers' hand to go, no, fuck it, all right, we're getting rid of it. Like mm. he's intentionally playing badly. And then I also heard from Paul Crawley of most <laughs> emotional journalist in the <laughs> NRL fame, he was like, how, how about like, you know, what sort of bloke doesn't want to like play for his mates? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm like, you're comfortable, assumedly uh, for like a coach to be completely fucked off by the club. But if a player's like, well, I want to go now as well. Like mm. that's not okay. There's this mm. like right in front of your face, double standard where a club can literally fuck Michael Maguire off which is fine ultimately, but like if a player was like, well, I wanted to play for him and now I want to go as well, that yeah. is somehow like dogging the boys and mm. the mates and lots of shit. Yeah. Like Maguire didn't even have an opportunity to say goodbye to him. They were just like, oh yeah, sorry, bro, you're out. And also we've already packed all your shit. So it, when it comes to players like, and, and rightfully so sometimes, like yeah, players do agitate for releases, all that kind of stuff. But there is a certain, they do get held to a different standard to clubs and coaching and all that kind of stuff. But what's, what I don't care is like, first of all, to accuse Leilua of that, You've got no evidence. Like, maybe it was just a bad game. Yeah. Is he that good of a player that he plays unbelievably every single week? Or doesn't, like, I mean, I don't think when I saw him against Manly, who I think won 30 to 4, uh, you, I was right, like, Tom. I saw Luciano playing badly, and I was like, he's got this game in him. He, he, has, a, he has a shocker in he's him. He's not like, Tedesco, mate, who fucking plays a ripper 
every single week. When they talk about like the difference between he best has and off worst games, game. yeah, he 100%. has some off Absolutely. Games. Most, like 99.99% of players in the comp have off games. Absolutely. And on top of all that, he absolutely had a relationship with Michael Maguire. Michael Maguire changed his whole life. He was at the Dragons. But a mate, bit overweight. If you're at the Tigers, right, mm. you're surely allowed to be a little bit flat if you fucking find yourself in a position where the coach has gone. 100%, that's what and I mean. Tr- and, you're, and you're not going too well. And now Jackson Hastings supposedly leaving. Like, it's not like you're at some club that's going fucking Is Jackson gun-ho. Hastings leaving? Well, well there's, there's, there's rumours. That Knights can offer But him. where there's smoke, there's fire, bro. Yeah, like, is, the, the thing is, is like some players really do have a strong connection with coaches. And so if a guy that sometimes, you, and I'm not saying it's, it, this is the case in um, Luciana Leilua's situation, but it seems like some players see coaches as almost father figures. So when that coach goes, especially a guy like Leilua, who was at the Dragons, he was a bit unfit, wasn't in good nick, but he had so much potential. Rough Every now diamond. and then, yeah, it was he, exactly. He had so much potential. Tigers took a massive punt on him, brought him over, and turned him into like Michael Maguire turned him into a beast. Like on his day, one of the best young back rowers in the comp. So it's reasonable to assume it's going to rattle him a little bit yeah. when the guy that changed his life just gets booted and like for him to have one downish game on top of all that the whole team had a downish game yeah there was a, it was the worst game they've played all year and they're up much. against the premiership heavyweight like well mainly a good like they're a top eight side <laughs> yeah like you i know you're joking like but a sort of muhammad time. ali figure you <laughs> yes, know what i mean yes exactly <laughs> they were it's mainly like a good side like like a <laughs> yeah and who were there to play they were there to play who were there to fuck yeah and that's what you saw so but it, also like if you're very unfair like uh, Gus said on 100% footy that, that, you know, the mail he was getting was like, yeah, there's a bunch of fucking players who, like, he said like five or six players that he wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to leave or mm. he was hearing would potentially want to leave off the back of Maguire. Do the West Tigers canvas or clubs generally canvas players' opinions before sacking a coach? And in this instance, they clear, do you think they would have? Or have they oh, just gone, man. nah, fuck it, we got to get him? Like, it's, we've it's, got Tim Sheens in here making decisions. Yeah, look, it's... Who it's, we sacked also a few years ago. <laughs> it's it, Tigers are a little bit different because they don't have, a, like, a, a very old senior playing group. Like, when you go to, like, the Storm, Roosters, Penrith, even though they're quite young, but they're all playing Origin, all that kind of stuff, they probably would go to the senior playing group and say, do you, can you work with this coach, rah, rah. Whereas the Tigers are a little bit different. I'm sure they would have spoken to them, but I don't think their senior playing group would have held as much weight as a lot of other senior playing groups. And also, I think there has been a tendency at the Tigers for the playing group and the coach to have a disconnect to the admin. Mm. Look no further than earlier in the year, Hastings wanted to go up to the Gold Coast Titans. Madge wanted him to go up too. And then admin came and said, no, nah, we're, not, we're not paying for him to go up. And so there's, there, there is like a, a line sometimes between club, not, not in a negative way, it's just... But that, to me, that would seem negative because the admin, without having any fucking idea, yep. seemed to not be fantastic. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. That, like, even at the Broncos, like, I, we didn't really, like, the admin, we didn't really, the, their job was basically, we want to be so good, you don't even know we exist. That's, mm. how, that's what a good admin is, is supposed to do. So good, you don't hear any infighting, you don't hear anything about bad decisions, that's whatever. That's all you hear about with the Tigers, right? It, so there is clearly some kind of disconnect there. Um, it, the timing of it is weird. How do they, just with that Hastings going to Gold Coast, how the fuck do they even, hey, shut the fuck up. Madge wants me to come to Magic Round. I'm coming. Like, how do they even, it's a $200 return Well, Hastings ticket. didn't pay for his own ticket. That's, it's not even like a cost thing, I know, right? I know, just, they, they, they try to say, well, if, you, if we say yes to Hastings, then we have to say yes to the rest of the squad. But I think the rest of the squad would have been like, Hastings is a little bit different to us. He's like, the we, fucking playmate. He's the main guy, he's a senior playing group. And so with this, on, on the flip side, let's, let's assume he was so down and that's why he played really like poorly. It's still the club's job to, to find a way to work with him, to get him back up again. Like, you know, like coaches get paid to deal with this kind of yeah. stuff. And that's what's surprising is they all want to put it on Luciano Leilua's shoulders. But it's like, where's, where's the responsibility being put on the club to make him happy and want to stay? Look at the Storm. They've had multiple players, Josh Adokar specifically. He wanted to get released ages before he ended up getting released to the dogs. But the storm made it like, work. You know what I mean? Like he wanted yeah. to go ages ago. And it was also family reasons why he wanted to go back to Sydney. But the storm understood he was upset, but still made him play really well on the weekends and then allowed the release to happen. Whereas you look at when we talk about that little one, no one's sitting there going, well, if the Tigers wanted to keep him, 
they should have made it work and made him happy, made it work. So clearly the Tigers agreed to the release and were okay with it. So it's not him walking out on anyone. He shouldn't be in trouble for it. No. Throwing games, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's, it's just bullshit. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. The Tigers, <clears throat> and I, I, truthfully, I know we talk shit, I could not imagine what it would be like to go for the Tigers. And that's, I'm not having a crack at the fans. Like, it would be fucking awful. Mm. When you then hear that they're offering Seraldo or whoever a five-year deal, you're like, excuse me? You've sucked every fucking coach you've had since 2011 early. Mm. None of them have seen out anything. And you want to give them a five-year deal? Uh, mate, I think I think that's off the back of the fact that there's three clubs looking for a coach and there's not many around. Right, and, but they're eyeing, and they're eyeing off someone like Seraldo and they're like, it's basically, it's basically an offer off. Right, but if you're Seraldo, you're not going, okay, this seems like a club that has a history of making horseshit decisions. Like, I wouldn't even offer me a five-year deal. Why the fuck would you want to do that? Like, relax, dude. Like, I but reckon it's, 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 more, it's just a supply and demand thing. It's as simple as that. Like, but if you're Serato, are you going, well, do I want to go to this club that clearly fucking, like, do I trust this club? If I'm a young coach who's going to prove myself, like, do I trust but these I'd, fucking losers to, to get it done, to get it right, to do right by me? Yeah, but I, think, I don't think the two are linked. I don't think them offering a five-year deal is linked to are they going to fuck me over or not? Like, you just look at their history and the way they run as a club and you can make that decision, five-year deal or not. That That's basically there, I would imagine, because what are the fucking dogs offering? Right, what but to me, it doesn't seem like it's a prudent <coughs> business decision because if they want to fucking sack him early, if he sucks, then there's a club they have to pay him out still. So it's like, this doesn't seem like a... This seems like a desperate play from a club who doesn't really know what the fuck they're doing. They just, they just constantly fuck things up. Well, I, I think... It's just out of, if it is true that they offered him five years, there hasn't been confirmation. They have met with him. They have had interviews. I, I, I agree with what you're saying, Eddie. It's just supply and demand. Like, I think they're being put in a position where he could literally go to three clubs, Tigers, Doggies, Warriors. and Warriors. Warriors. Or go to none of them. And so, <coughs> which, he Bulldogs, which he may yeah. also do. Yeah, or go to none of them. Bulldogs offer him three years. Warriors offer him four years. I think the Tigers are just in such a tough spot right now that they're willing to be risky. Because if this doesn't work, then then that admin will probably have to move on, probably. Do you this think, next, this next do you think that thing. the length of the deal is gonna be the discerning factor in a decision like that? Or will it or would you be also looking at this is this club's a sack of shit well, who hasn't made There could for be a an argument for like a nightmare back at like the the admin seems mm. to be so there, there could be an argument for if you're Seraldo and you go, okay, there's a five-year deal. I put a bunch of clauses in that they have to pay out the whole thing. If he goes there and it doesn't work, Seraldo is still young enough where most people go, look, it's the Tigers. He'll get another chance in another club eventually. But also he may bank four to $5 million for Mate, his family. A lot of money. It's a lot of cash mm. for, for a coach that's only, you know, it could be a short career. And also knowing that he'll probably, he'll always be able to go back to Penrith. He probably will get another crack because... You know, Barrett got another crack after the Mealy Seagulls. So you young coaches usually get another crack. So if you're Serraldo and you're looking at your family, you got kids, maybe you do go. You know what? If I'm guaranteed three to four million dollars or four to five, whatever it is, fuck, maybe I do it. Do you think? And this is a genuine question, as opposed to me trying to like make it. Do you think someone like Seabold looks at that because it's a similar? It'd be a similar thing, right? Long term, yeah. first time coach. Oh, well, that's part it, of the reason well, but why. But like, you, why where you, you go, it? like, I'm not coaching again. Mm. Like, I've had one crack at it, really. I had, had one year with South. Everyone's like, holy shit, hot boy, let's get him up. Mm. Went to absolute poo. <clears throat> like, there is still that chance as well. If you're trying to be the career coach, like, and, you know, there's a... Like, you look at Craig Fitzgibbon, who nabrad a bunch of beta clubs and then mm. went, oh, well, here's a club at least that... He might have got those five-year offers from the losers, but he's like, oh, here's a club that's, like, not shit. Yeah, the only difference with this situation between Seabold and Seraldo right now is the Broncos were going well. And then when he came, they won the wooden spoon. Whereas Tigers, they can't really go backwards yeah. at the moment. It's a different situation. <laughs> but the reason why Seabold took that deal, and because like Rabbitohs, to my understanding with Seabold, thought he was going to be their next, after Michael Maguire, long-term coach. And they were surprised that after one year that he just bounced. But again, to my understanding, the reason why was because the offer from the Broncos was so hectic financially for yeah. him that it's set him up kind of thing you can't say no you can't say no to it and you know the old school up there argue that the sort of the fabric of the club changed when he went you know what i mean that's where a lot of the negativity i think comes and it from did look, look at the difference now 
So they they are different things, but I hear what you're saying, dude. Because if you go to somewhere like the Tigers, it could define you as a first yeah, grade for coach. Sure. Like it can define you. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Like if you pick the wrong job at the wrong time, it can fuck your whole career, and mm. that is a fact. Mm. Or he could sit there at Penrith underneath uh, Ivan and just cruise, and then maybe take that job when Ivan leaves. Who knows? Or wait for another club that's mm. not as scat. Because he could he can buy his time. Yeah. Bide? Bide. I will say, though, the Tigers, like, I know we joke about them struggling or whatever, and, and they are struggling, but the potential yeah. that club has, if you can get the right people in there, mm. is incredible. Yeah. They've got the, one of the biggest bases. They should. They have every reason to be exactly like Penrith. They've got a huge base. They're financially pretty set, to my understanding, because the league's – was it, is it West League's club? That no, is, West, which is, like, out of Campbelltown way. Yeah. They're, they're flush. They're, they're flush with cash. As far as I'm aware. <clears throat> so they've got Tim Sheens there now. There is potential for greatness there as well. Like, it's not like, you know, some other clubs, let's say let's say the Raiders were struggling. It would be, and they were going as bad as the Tigers are right now. Now, they're not. They're a great club. But you could argue, well, that's a tough turnaround because it's in ACT. Some players don't want to get, you know, moved down there. Look at the Warriors, for example. You know, some players don't want to move over to New Zealand. You're dealing with certain things that Tigers don't really have to deal with. Yes, players, you know, they've just re-signed. They just signed Appy and Papali'i. But it's like in the heartland of rugby league. It's, it's the perfect recipe for a powerhouse club. That almost makes it far... Like, this almost gives them far less reason to be as shit as mm, they are. For sure. I mean? That's why when for you sure. go out like, well, this admin might go if they fuck up again, it's like, I wonder whether they should already go. Mm. That's like, I wonder the, how, what mate, clubs, how long other clubs would put up with this sort of poor fucking administration. And how, how long now since they made the eight? Long time. 2011, dude. They, have, the they have got right the whole southwest Sydney catchment area. Mm. For young talent, like mm. the whole West West Juniors is the supposed to be rugby league. fucking powerful. Mm. Like they should have juniors coming throughout the arse yep. that rip and tear. Mm. Not to mention all the dollars that they've got there supporting it. Mm. So the fact that they've been going so poorly, like you've got to you've got to look at the makeup of of the club from an administrative perspective, mm. surely, and go. What's going on here? The yeah. systems are all fucked. That's what I mean. That's why if you're oh, Seraldo, you'd be, you're like, Oof. mate, you'd be you sending you'd be sending little scouts into Penrith, <clears throat> you know, pretending to be janitors and just going, how the fuck do they, do they run this place? Because it is a well oiled machine like now. And just go, let us rip this off. Yeah. Let us just r strip it and rip it, baby. There's a janitor in like a Tigers jersey, and he's like, yeah. keeps walking. I was like, wait, so Ivan and Ivan's like, what the fuck are you doing in my office, dude? I'd be getting janitors in there, dude. Dude, they've Get got Brett Camolli in like a janitor's jacket. Like, hey, what's going on? And, and he's got and like a fake nose yeah, on yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> Brett, what are you doing here? It's not Brett. It's not Brett. <laughs> Get that all the time, though. I'm Jet Camolli. So it's, tell me about your genius pathway. Ket Camolli. Ket Camolli. Ket Camolli. Brett's, from Brett's older brother who <laughs> doesn't speak to him anymore. No, 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 no. We're estranged. Uh, <coughs> um, yeah, look, like everything you're saying though is, is correct, Tom, in the sense that like it, you could consider it a poison chalice of like it's a tough place to go to. They've gone through so many coaches. There essentially hasn't been a single year outside of when Ivan was there. There did look like there was a bit of hope. They were one game off, I think, making the nine. Uh, they were ninth and they were one game off making the finals. Uh, they lost to Cronulla, I think, at home. And Paul Gallen kicked that field goal. Was that when Ivan was there or Madge was there? Uh, I'm 99% sure that was Madge. But I'll, was I'll that the... What game was that? I'm just trying to think. It was at Leichhardt. And it was Gull's last game, I think, or last club game. He was retiring yeah, that year. And right. he kicked that field goal or yeah, conversion yeah, yeah, or something. Yes, 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 yes. If they win that game, That was a Leichhardt. Yeah. Sunday afternoon, bathed in HD light. Yeah. And if they win... They go in the eight and all of a sudden, you know, everything's different. So uh, that might have been Madge. Um, and so there was a bit of hope then, but since then there just really isn't. So look, it's a tough gig. Really, really tough for gig. The players. Yeah, Madge was there then. That was his first year. I tell you what, if I was the Tigers, I would be keeping an eye on how Potter handles the Bulldogs. Because if the Bulldogs aren't looking to sign Potter long term, at the moment, Potter in his last four weeks in attack has scored this, more points than Barrett did in the first 10 weeks with the Bulldogs. Avarillo at fullback got my dick hard. He's good, eh? He's good at fullback. Yeah, he's dude. not not a seven. He's a he's an outside back. Nah, he was he was red hot. He's got fucking he's got wheels. What about Burton's knuckling, dude? His knuckleball, dude. Burton, dude. Burton. You mate. could audibly hear the crowd every time he kicked. You go like, whoa, yeah. crazy. We were we were saying that it feels to us like Trent Barrett gelded young Matthew Burton. <laughs> that is where you remove the testicles, okay, from the horse. Okay, we feel like. Reattached. Been reattached. 
But maybe not even the ones that were initially taken. We no, a, it's a set of nuts. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Get them from where you can get them. Okay. They're big and they're have fresh been, and they were on ice. Maybe like been... Terry Lamb's nuts or something. Well, they might have been legend. Dude, there might have been Terry's. Who knows? Or a clone of Terry's. Because Terry still needs his. He's one of the greats. Well, yes. but Terry yeah, might let him borrow them. As you get them. older, though, you probably... You, you probably you don't need them. So before the game, he goes, oh, you just lose me nuts. Well, they, no, they, they, there is, from our understanding at least, there is an air, like each club has a storage room of former greats nuts. <laughs> yeah. Like a fridge. That's it's, it's <laughs> not known. <laughs> that's not known, it's but now little it is. Known. What is this breaking news? And so it's not clone nuts, it's the actual nuts. No, they're nuts. the actual nuts. No, the clone actual nuts, things. Holy shit. Clone nuts don't work as well as they he, found. Matthew Burton, at the start of the season, was playing like he'd been gelded. Yeah, nutless. It's just nutless football. Mm. Nutless, nutless football. Now he looks like he is full to the brim. He's knuckle deep. Uh, his he work with that, he's worked with Ado Car for the last couple of weeks has been fucking unbelievable. Chip mm. kick to Ado Car. Nuts in that. The mm. kick that he put in for the last try, that Avrilo try at the end, mm. was like, oh, this guy's all nuts. Yeah, all when, nuts. He, when he has like one second to kick. Yeah, one second bang, puts it through. When he's like throwing around Mitch Moses, mm. nuts. It's all nuts. It dude. is all nuts. He probably has custom made underwear as well for his nuts. Well, they're bigger. Yeah, they are bigger. Yeah, they Quite are big. big. He can kick a nut all right. Got a good pill on him as well. Mm. He's playing outstanding. So, yeah, look, I'm not sure what's happening to the Tigers. Unfortunately, I feel, I feel sorry for the Tigers fans. Um, but. There is positive. There is light at the end of the tunnel, in my opinion. I think Api Korosau and Papali'i are huge signings because yeah. Api Korosau, sorry guys, I'm going to bring up bad memories, but Manly with Api Korosau and it was scary. Then he goes to Penrith and the year before he went to Penrith, they were struggling. They had a good run towards the end, but they were struggling. Ever since he's went to Penrith, Nathan's Cleary game just went through the roof. And a lot of that has to do, now obviously Cleary's developed to be able to play without him, but Coruscant was a <clears throat> huge reason for Penrith's sur- resurgence or their their updated whole look, and I think he's I think he's going to do something similar. The um, if if Hastings stays, if Hastings stays, him and Appy can develop something really good. The concern I have is if Hastings leaves now because he was like a magic man. Is Hastings what on a one year deal? Like, is he just could he fuck he off? He can negotiate as of November one. But does he have to play next year, or he can bounce? Um, no, I think he has to play. He, could, he would have to play next year. I'm pretty sure. Could you, yeah, he, he should. He, 24, but the year after, no. Nah. Do you think there'd be an element there of like management from Hastings being like, let's just let's get some birds chirping about you fucking off to another club, so then the Tigers go, okay, we can't have this happen. Mm. He's like literally all we've got, sort of. Like mm. we need to just up, upgrade this motherfucker now. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Big bickies. I wonder. I wonder what they're going to do with him and Brooks. You know, because Brooks they've got to make big. a decision one way or the other. Yeah, don't they? Can you keep them both and just downgrade Brooks? Well, would Brooks be willing to do that? He's not going to get it. Does he want to play second fiddle? But like Brooks, if you're going to get, if you're going to take a pay cut, you may as well go to a side that. You know. Yeah, true. That isn't this shithole. You don't you don't take a pay cut to win a spoon. Mm. That, I've saying, always said that. I've <coughs> always said that. Always In saying that, I don't. That. I think um, regardless of where he goes, he's going to have to take a massive pay cut, Luke Brooks. Oh, he's going to take uh, a haircut. Oh, yeah. Massive haircut. Big haircut. You get the. It'll be a buzz cut. Get the clippers out. <laughs> get the clippers out. Number one for you, bro. So on, on the negotiation table, they'll literally walk up and cut his hair. And like, no, no, not cut it. Shave it. He'll go. I oh, want like a five. We go. Nah, it's a no, one. No, no, it's, it's a one. one. And it's we're going to shave your eyebrows off as well and your pubes. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to get sweat in your eyes. Yeah. So pretty much you're playing for free. Yeah. You're a smooth free. You're on 120. The men. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so coaching merry-go-round is getting – it's heating up. So the coach merry-go-round, we've got Warriors, Dogs, all up for grabs. Uh, what do you think the Warriors are going to – like where do you think each club will end up? Because it's the, the, the thing that sucks for all the clubs, Doggies I do see some end of the light, light at the end of the tunnel, but with Warriors I felt like this they were building towards something good. I know now they were struggling this year. It almost feels like a whole nother reset for him. Is there a young thoroughbred overseas that I'm not aware of? Like when Trent Robinson came back for the mm. first time, I didn't know who the fuck he was. Is there a Trent Robinson esque mm. style coach overseas that I'm not aware of that can come over and is do Jason a job? Is Jason Riles overseas or is he with the Roosters at the moment? I know he's got some. He's rats. he's with the Roosters. There's Christian Wolf is is one that gets thrown up a bit. Yeah, Christian Wolf. Then there's a Walker Brothers in. I Q-Cup. want him to just. Why wouldn't you? I know they probably never will. Did you see their latest quote? I want. I want to see a you pair of like, twins. Give us one year. That's all we want, and we'll make the final. No, they said 
we will agree to guaranteeing finals foot in the first year. If you don't do it, we'll, we'll walk away. You can suck us. Do, well, like, I know that no club, like, no club no, will do like, it, though, will they? Yeah, but That's like, the problem. But I, I respect that because mm. you go, well, fuck it. No one's given us a job already. So we may as well just put out some outrageous. I was putting your nuts on the table. Just put your How nuts are they, on the table. There they is coach? literally four testicles. Yes. On the table. Yeah. yeah. Not that's how they can beat other coaches is they have four testicles. Four the coach only have two. Yeah. Better than two. Two squats, four testes. Two squats. <laughs> squats. Um <coughs> could you imagine if like they, they get to the end of the year and like they have a decimated by injury and they lose by some shit call from the ref and they don't make the finals how filthy you'd be? You'd Bro, be like, oh, I just would be happy that they were given a shot because rugby league's mm. fun. Just make it, just have a crack. Like the Warriors, I think, are probably the best place. Tigers are too big to have a crack and they they take themselves far too seriously even though they're not very good from an admin perspective bulldogs as you said they're fucking fine and as if gus is ever going to take the piss to the point of having the walker brothers coach warriors it's a bit of fun it's a bit of flash bit of flair no one's paying that much attention like just fucking get two guys to coach you see what happens if they fuck yeah, it up then move on it's not like you're not going to change the coach quickly again anyway i get it and it'd be a pretty easy sell. The Walker brothers would go into the Warriors and go, what's better than one coach? Two. <laughs> and they go, oh, yeah. boy, love it. Yeah, love yeah. Hey, you know what? I fucking that's didn't a, think that's of that, a good friend. Fucking yeah. I, that's a great point. That's a great point. Are they in, the, are they in Queensland Cup? They're still uh, in the I'm Q-Cup? not sure if they're still with it switch, maybe. I mean, you'd assume they would if, you know. Why can't they get even a Super League job? Maybe they don't want to move over there. Mate, they dare to dream. They dare to dream and they don't want to go live in the But I mean, world. like, you know, if you're wanting to try and make it a case for yourself because no one's taking you seriously head over to the fucking uh the super league and rip and tear or maybe you bide your time which is what they're doing yeah and it may well pay off um yeah look it's I, honestly i feel sorry for all three of those clubs because they're in a position where i don't there's no obvious answer there's really no obvious answer but another Good news for international footy. The New Zealand side has been selected. Did I just see the Tongan side as well, or is that not yes. out yet? Yes, yep. I'm actually just posting it right oh, now. Oh, okay. Dude, but that side looks hot as shit. Hot as shit. By the way, Walker Brothers no longer coaching Ipswich. Who are they coaching? I'm finding that out now. <laughs> dude, um, can of coal is fullback for Tonga. I saw that, dude. That's going to be good to see, bro. So, I want to see what he can do. Because obviously we've got safest houses, the 15th peak, Ruben Garrick for work of Manly. But to see a young, throbbing, stubby, cooler can of cola. I like what I see with him in the, in the one. He's so fucking quick, dude. So electric. So quick, so, so fast, much, so hot. So much acceleration. Let's, let's eyeball this thing. Okay, so this is Tonga's side. Fullback, cola. Daniel Tupo, Talakai in the centres, Suli in the centres, and Katoa on the wing. That's a crazy backline. Dude, what a fucking backline. Big Nabra Stags in six. Amone, uh, that's the Dragons, Amone in seven. Tokiaho at eight. Havili at nine. Ten, the PCM King, Fanua Blake at ten. Silatili Tupanoa of running crazy hard lines fame. Uh, Keon Kolomatangi at Holy 12. Shit. Jason Tamalolo at 13. Sonny Luke at four. Uh, Olakawatu. Uh, on the bench, I probably would have started all the Same time. Dude. dude, what? That's the fuck? fucking ridiculous. Pink Pangai Jr., Tavita Totola, and then Fodder Waker at uh, 18. And then we've got the extended uh, bench Benzini, uh, Katoa, Fafida, that's Andrew Fafida, Offen Gawe, Stafford Toa, Christian Tui Pilotu, and fuck Elise yeah. Katoa. Now, does that mean that's are they allowed to have an extended squad. bench? Like, are they all allowed to play, or is that. It's not. It's uh, still like you can only have seventeen, right? This isn't some yeah. international round. What's happening oh, with? Sure. No, no, no. It's, it's a normal game. It's just like how an NRL team names twenty-four. Yeah, cool, cool, mm. cool. How's this working with Katoni and Tupo and shit? That's a big, big dude, old TBC. Well, that's well, the dude. controversy. I think is that it's no. Tupo said that he's going to play for New South Wales. I'm sure he said well, that. Well, I think Tonga's just come out and said, "Fuck know, it, we're naming him anyway." Can you can you have you got any more information on that, please? No, I've I've been trying. I, I think there's no I info. Think, I think that's the case because I've heard that he has declared yeah, New South same. Wales. Yeah, same. But I've also heard he's declared for yeah, Tonga. Yeah, so, same. So I don't know it's what's a, going it on. It is. With that. It's actually. It's and again, a, shout mate. out to Gus Gould, 100 percent footy. <clears throat> In a billion dollar game, it is absolutely fucking ridiculous that this is the scheduling and this is how it mm. works. Like it's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that. You, should, you could be put in a position where you pick one or the other. 
No, that being split said, him. All right, this, this article came out an hour ago. Tongan coach Christian Wolf is happy for Daniel Tupo and Katoni Staggs to have a foot in both camps after the New South Wales Origin pair were officially named in his extended squad. Right. A foot in both camps. As of camps. early Wednesday. As in, he's just going to name them, and if they want to play Origin. As of early Wednesday, right. yeah. Tupo and Staggs remain undecided about whether to commit to the Blues for Origin. Undecided? So the reports that are like, How he has be declared. It's, when they say, oh, yeah, he has declared, it's like, who says that? Like, yeah. why are they allowed to just say that? Yeah. Because now it puts, now what happens is. There's the people that have heard that he's declared for New South Wales. If he does choose to go with Tonga, they're like, call him a liar. You know, Tupo, you're a liar. You said you were going to play. For, you know what I mean? Mm. It, I, just, I can't believe they also, can just say that. Uh, Brandy came out and said that Ola Kawatu was not on New South Wales radar at all for game two. Now, either that's the greatest lie of all time mm. or they have lost the fucking plot. That was That's interesting to me. I, I, I To say he's not even on the radar, that's really surprising. They were like... Each week we pick our team during the regular season and, you know, players come in and out of the side and he's been in there a few times, he's been out of there a few times. He's like, he's not in our considerations for game two. Unless I had a fucking brain worm and completely misheard what he was saying. Which or I it was a dream. Did, or it was a dream. Or he you said, made it up. No, I didn't make it up. It was or it's like a false memory. You've had them before. Well, I could have been a false memory because I did once think that my sister was auditioning for Power Rangers, which was never true. In New Zealand. Uh, in never New happened. Zealand, never happened. The worst thing about you telling people that now, like you tell me that or you know, Eddie or Matt, now if we're ever having an argument about something that happened, we can always lean on that crutch of like, motherfucker, you've made shit up before. No, I didn't make it up. I had a memory <laughs> falsely implanted in my brain. So you didn't, oh. but you did make it up. No, I didn't make it up. Well, your brain, make, no, your no, brain someone, made it up. No, no, someone So who implanted it? it Fucked if I know, dude. Oh. Someone falsely implanted it in my brain. <laughs> no but, responsibility. No, no, fuck no, none. None. <laughs> so your brain made it up. No, dude, someone implanted it in my brain. <laughs> a fairy did. Olakawatu not being in contention for game two for New South Wales is absolutely ridiculous Which and matters. to me is concerned that side I, I just keep staring at yeah, it it's is scary. really that's high. a horny rugby league side like if they come out for 80 minutes absolutely mate in 10 years beat, time the way things are going like they just those need Pacific a gun. nations could be genuine fucking we could win the world to Cup. be honest it? for me like the halves is the only thing where you go like like Katoni's good and Amon is a good player, but it's not like a international quality halves pairing. Yeah, for sure. And that's, you know, been their Achilles heel for a while is is the fact that- um, They're all know, big the six, and thick and powerful. And the only fun. problem is though, no, sorry, the, uh, the argument against that is, I'm pretty sure Stags played six when they defeated Australia. Stags not so much. He's like even been spoken about in- Broncos, Broncos six. Broncos six, but I guess Amon being sort of a young up and coming throbber. Yeah, look, I, look, I can see that, but he has had some really good moments. And also they, they, they can play a certain style of footy that worries less about structured play and more about just really high energy. Mm. Um, because when you look at that, like all Tonga needed or needs in these specific nations and Polynesian, um, you know, cultures is just a bit of resources to give them, mm. to make it appealing for them to first of all choose Tonga over Australia if they choose to, mm. um, but also like pathways for young Tongans, young Samoans, because at the moment I, I'd assume union is still probably a bit bigger in Tonga and Samoa. Again, I've got no facts to back that up, but You're if right. you can create pathways over there, and look, this takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of organisation. The amount of young Polynesian kids, if they got the same opportunities that Australian kids got, would be playing in a role would be absolutely insane, mm. insane. Um, that side's you know, you, we, we look at um, Tamalolo, like he came over as, as quite a young kid, got all the opportunities that a lot of Aussie kids got, and look what he turned into, an absolute beast. Uh, what do you got there, Matty? When Tonga beat us, our spine was Teddy Munster, Cherry Evans, Cook, and theirs was Hopawati, Lolahia, Stags, and Havili. There you go. There you go. There wow. you go. There you go. It guts. Was, more guts. It was uh, such a conflicting feeling when they defeated us because I was like so happy for them, but I was also angry that we lost as a country. Yeah, yeah. I was actually, I was, I was, I was sort of pumped. For I them. Can, you can become sometimes you become a bit apathetic about the international game when Australia just pumps everyone. Mm. So I was actually like, oh, this is kind of cool, and mm. the whole like Tongan crowd just going absolutely crazy. Psycho. It was mad. Um, so look, what what a squad! Uh, can't wait to see. I just can't wait to see. The first twenty minutes is going to be absolutely wild. Where are they playing? Um, New, New Zealand, Zealand versus Auckland? I mean, yeah. New Zealand versus Tonga is in Auckland. Fuck, that's going to be Auckland. so oh, Holy bro. It'll be a sea of red. Like sea a of sea red. of red. Um, sea of red. Like your front row. Especially is, without uh, New Z uh, footy there for two, two years. Who's the New Zealand side? 
Uh, well, I was trying to remember, who's the captain of New Zealand? So, this is a New Zealand side. They haven't named it, uh, but this is a squad. Jesse, probably. Nelson Asafa Solomona. Oh, my God. Imagine him and Adam Van Blake going Just at it. Just bang. Holy <laughs> shit. Bumping uglies. Jesse Bromwich. Kenneth, uh, Kenneth Bromwich. Dylan Brown. Aaron Clark. Fisher Harris. Kieran Foran. Shit. Peter Hicku. Yeah, boy. Hughes. Jerome Hughes. Moses Leoda. Isaac Liu. Joseph Manu. Tamade Martin. Ken Mamalo. Good on you, Martin. Ronaldo Mulatalo. What a journey for Martin. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's like, mad. He literally had to quit because of brain and trauma. And now he's back playing for the Kiwis. That's sick. Um, Griffin Name. Neem. Uh, Britton Nakora, Murata Nakora, Isaiah Papali'i, Jordan Rapana, Jordan Riki. Is it Ricky or Riki? Ricky. Uh, Brandon Smith, Scott Sorensen, Joseph Tarpane, Dylan Wateni, Zalesniak. Some pretty hot squads. Would it be Jesse? Jesse's probably your skipper, is he? Or are they going young and hot? They Kieran, might go young Kieran and hot. Go back again? Oh, I, I'd be, you know, I'd be giving the C to Tom. Kieran. Kieran Fryan. Kieran's Fryan. playing five. Yeah, eight. the only problem is, is you probably put Dylan Brown at five eight. Mm, I'd be putting Foz in. Nah, putting put, Foz. Really? Putting Foz. Yep. Hundred <laughs> percent. Dylan Brown. Dude, he's been playing fucking well. He's been Kieran playing Fryan. really well, but you Dylan need Brown's a leader been, out there. You yeah, need, you need a, you need a, leader, a uh, an old measured. Still head, yeah. and that's what Kieran will give you. Yeah, and he'll get the boys up and about. Him, he, he knows what it means. Give Dylan the fourteen. Tell him to shut up. <laughs> Earn your stripes, boy. <laughs> like actually, like congratulations, but also shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, you're fourteen. Shut up. Please shut the fuck up. Brandon Smith. Yeah, he was gonna, I was just gonna say thank you. No, shut the fuck up. No, All no, Kieran needs up. to do is have you on a comp. Yeah. We did bags. How many grand finals? I have respect been in your dog? store work, but have you on a comp? Is that is that a no? If we're handing out trophies so, for store work, dude, you're yeah. you know captain, coach, man of the match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what about um. The Eels reserve grade side just announced the captain coach of oh, Rankin, Jordan Rankin. Jordan Rankin, yeah. <laughs> captain coach. He's the captain coach. Jordan, Jordan Rankin, Rankin of yep. youngest player to debut Ever in NRL debut or whatever. Yeah. and scored four tries on debut for the mm. Titans. He's right. captain coach. He's captain coach of the Eels reserve grade side. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it as well. That's it's a throwback. Good stuff. Fucking hell. That Shout is out to massive. captain coaches. Don't yeah. see enough of it. No, captain you know. coaches, honestly, what a gig. That's a tough gig. It's a tough gig, but... If anyone could do it in this side... It's Jordan Rankin. It's Jordan Rankin. Well, not in this side. Oh, this side. No, <laughs> in I this think side, Jordan could do it. In this side, I I back Foz to do it as well. Yeah. He could captain coach. He's just so mature. He's mature. He's eh? so mature. He's dude. so mature. He's so mature. When he opens his mouth, I'm like, you are my age and you feel like you're 30 years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so yeah. mature. He's like... like I, f- I see him as a dad. Yeah, you look and at him and we are the like, same age. Yeah. He's so, and you know what? He's so fair dinkum. I know he's a oh, Kiwi, yeah. but he's so fair. He's dinkum. the most Australian Kiwi in terms of fair dinkumness. Oh man! Well, he uses fair, fair dinkumness. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's never done anything unfair in his life. He's you cut fair. him open, he's just full of fair, fair dinkum. dinkum. That's all it is. Ticker and fair dinkum. Yeah, yeah ticker and fair dinkum. Oh, ticker. It's actually what's holding oh, his body together. He's ticker personified. Yeah, and fair yeah. dinkum. Yeah, yeah. Fair that's dinkum. his. That's his. That natural strapping. If I ever hear him say fair dinkum, I'll probably my head explode. Yeah. Oh, he would have said fair dinkum. He's fucking oath. He would. He can dig that up. But that's bring, why that's why I'm putting the C on his name. Bring Fair Dinkum back. Oh, it's Fair back. Dinkum, mate. I didn't think it left. Oh no, Fair Dinkum ain't gone anyway. Has, hasn't gone. No, 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 no. I, I use Fair Dinkum. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you about you, mate? You use the young fellas use Fair Dinkum. I don't, but I actually noticed last week, Eddie, you used it quite a few times. Fair I Dinkum, use, mate. Yeah, I yeah. use it. Fair Dinkum, you did. Fair Dinkum. Oh, it's bro. not going anywhere. Bro. No, 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 mate. No. Apologies, apologies. It's all right. And I'm a little ashamed of you for not using it. I just used it then. I said fair no, dinkum. No, you need to use it like natural. More. And I brought it up here as well. I said he's more, fair dinkum. More, more, need, more, more, more. Well, that, that's a good use. If you're using it in a fair dinkum manner, <laughs> then that's it's okay. Dinkum. Then that's fine. <laughs> then that's fair dinkum. Then that's fine. One of the most underrated battles, I reckon, for international footy was when Latrell and Joey Marnie went out. Remember that? Mm-hmm. That was fucking hectic. Yeah, and I loved horny. every second and of it. And I think every Joey second. got the better of him. Uh, I think it was pretty much even. Well, I think Kiwis won, didn't they? Did they? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. <laughs> they did in my memory, dude. Someone's put that in my brain. Dude, what's going on over there? Someone is implanting memories Holy into shit. my brain. Yeah, dude. it's you. I don't know, the one that's supposed to it's be CTE. Have well, you been boxing again? Nah, dude, but I did play a lot of lower level footy coming through. You know, maybe that's what happened. You know, <laughs> CTE, I don't know. Fuck it. You know what, Tom? You might be right. Because oh, shit. Big win. I know I'm right, dude. I, I remember him dominating Latrell and the whole thing was like, oh, fuck. They were the Roosters him. teammates. No, he did, bro. He scored no, he on didn't. him and shit. No, Find it was it, an buddy. equal. Uh, trust me, he did not dominate. Find it. So we beat, Astra- uh, we beat New Zealand in 2019 and then the game before that, they beat us. And Joey might have scored. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm going to have to go. And That's it, dude. That was the one. a bit deeper, but. Did Latrell yeah. score? 
No, he played though. Um, it was a it was a tit for tat battle. It wasn't you. fucking implanted. I was that, right. Yeah, but you know what? I told you that's what happens when you sell when you cry you wolf. Are a dribble. I was right. You cry wolf, and then we don't believe you. That's okay. I don't that's care on if you, you bro. Me. No, that's fine. That's though. on you though, I bro. Don't mind that. It's not our fault that no, you not. lied before. But what is my you fault? Wolf. What is my fault? Don't cry wolf. Is that I was right? But that's what. That's all that matters. Don't cry wolf. Dribblers. Daddy was right. Daddy gets rugby league. Daddy has you know one of those brands. Are you are you a parent? I am two two kids. Holy shit! I know, dude. Does so it annoy you? Dude, does it annoy you? Remember the guy in Melbourne who came up to us? And does was it annoy like, you that Tom calls himself Daddy? Yes or no? Like, do you, do we want to keep Daddy around? <laughs> I can't help it. Do we need to remove Daddy from the lexicon of this show? Because yeah. I I vote yes. Leave like, the comment. Like, punters and dribblers, you vote. Yeah. Is Daddy in or is Daddy out? I can't help it. Daddy's in. Daddy's here to stay. Makes me feel strange. Yeah, it some does. guy it came makes up to us in, in, in Melbourne. It makes everyone feel odd. Yeah, well, a dude came up to us in Melbourne and was like. Oh, are you a dad? And I go, yeah, dude. And he's like, <laughs> I know. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> it was, it was, it was comedic good. timing at its very best. Very best. Wow. Very best. Really impressive stuff. Oh, that's great. That's uh, great. Just stuff. confirming, Tom, you are correct. It was the 2018 game. He sent Mitchell really out of a tackle after palming him close to the line before stepping over him to score. And then uh, Latrell was quoted saying, he's got a strong friend. He got me by surprise. Mm. Thank you. Not tip for tat, Dan. Not tip for tat. I guarantee Joey it's tip for tat. It wasn't. I'll it bet wasn't. you. I'll bet you. It's too late. It's too I'll bet you hundreds of dollars it's that it's not. Late. I remember it's the game. It was tip for tat. I'm completely. Go look at. Have you got Latrell's stats there? Uh, the I'll game, find him. Joey I'll scored a try. I'll just say you were right. You were right. Re yeah. result. I'm not sure. Well, did Joey Money score a try? He did. Did Latrell? Mm, he did not. Score not tip for tat. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's only on tries. New Zealand won. Joey scored. Latrell didn't. Joey wins. Mate, it was a great battle. And in so doing, I win. Because <laughs> you are half Kiwi. Well, that's absolutely correct. Um, but who have you got in this match, Kiwi or Tonga? I Look, I'm half Kiwi. Hey, Tara, so baby. Go the boys. Hey, Tara. Got to. Have yeah. to. Yeah? Mm. Okay. I can't wait. It's going to be a cracking match. Yeah. That weekend of footy. Who you got? So this is next weekend. Um, next for this weekend. game, I have got uh, Kiwis because I just think that their halves are... Really, really fucking good. Yeah. And I'd be putting... Four and a Hughes. Four and a Hughes. Do I want, want to know the stats from that game? Yeah. All right. So I'll go Manu first. Manu got a try, 79 metres, a line break, a line break assist, a try assist, three tackle breaks. Latrell, he didn't get a try, but he got three line breaks and two line break assists Thank and you. a try assist. Thank you. So who's better based on those Thank stats? Thank you. I don't know. Three line breaks, three line breaks and two I'd try assists. Manu's better. Three line breaks and two try assists. Two, two line break assists, one try assist. I feel like you have so like three line breaks, two line break assists, and a try assist. He had assist. five line break involvement. As the only oh, person oh, not involved here, I've got to call it as I say it. It's tit for tat. Yeah, thank you. Nah, Joey wins it. It was a tit for tat. No, that's I think tit for tat. What, I, I think I'll tell you what puts tit for tat to bed. <laughs> the result plus a try. Because he scores and the side win. <laughs> Yeah, but you can be, but you can be, but you can be the best player on the field in a losing side yeah. a la DCE 2013. Yeah, you can, Whiten. but it's against Arguable. the opposition. So I'm saying tit for tat, <laughs> scores a try. Latrell didn't score a fucking try. And <laughs> he said two up. They won. He didn't fucking score one. <laughs> oh, anyway, wow. I'm right. It's great. Thank you. See, everyone. this is Thank this you. is your problem. You, you create lies and, and it's, it's all problem. foggy. Now we it's don't believe. Because you're right about the result. I, I I'll know give you I was that. Right. But then you went further in the lie. That's fine. There's and no you lie. You pretended you knew more than you did. There's no lie. I knew everything. I said he scored a try. I said Latrell didn't. <laughs> um, I'm going New Zealand. Yeah, I think uh, New Zealand's uh, half pairing is incredible. Like if, whether they go Dylan Brown or they go Kieran Foran, you'd be you'd be mad as a cut snake not to put Kieran Foran on that side, on that t starting side. Either mad way, as a cut snake, uh, I would say Dylan Brown would be one of the hottest fourteens ever outside of Craig Wing, obviously. Mm. Um, yeah, but like no, get 14, along. Saying 14. Oh, 14. 14. 14. oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. agreed. Because he can play centre, hook Bang. up, there we go. six, yeah. seven. Did you see there him chop to beat a Pingo Junior? Yes, yeah, after yeah, Tavita, that was fucking... so horny to me. Yeah, that oh, was shit. Oh, oh shit, Jesus, that was very horny. Mm. Very, very horny. Very um, horny. Like, do you know how hard? Like, that's that. Or you don't tackle Tavita like that because he's so big. He's so big and thick. I could, but I get what your point. <laughs> I get what your point yeah, is. And he's a noted defender. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um, the normal Fox Sports talking points. Yeah, I will say. Did you did you get the quote? Uh, what what? Uh, Kent yeah, I put it in NRL News next segment under that. Okay, yeah, so like, did you see Kenty going at the Kafusi situation last night? Did you yeah, see that clip? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. was extreme. I know, that's what we said. I was like, 
that he literally did nothing wrong there, in my opinion. Yeah. So this, this is But even if he is trying to give him a bit, do we really give a shit? <laughs> Well, this like, is this is where I'm. Who I'm cares? like, it's, look, I think Kenty is entertaining as, and Love I get it. it. He's got to entertain all that kind of stuff. But this is what he said about Barnett. So Barnett's elbow to the head. He wanted people to know it was careless incident rather than in, intentional and malice incident, uh, malicious incident. You guys can't can see intent there. That's what you're saying. He will argue it, that was an incident that went wrong rather than one with malicious intent. He's lucky he didn't share his draw, but that's irrelevant to whether it's intent or careless. So that's what he said about Barnett. And yet he's saying about Kafusi that he 100% meant it. Barnett literally goes, boots <laughs> onto his fucking jaw and he's, the guy doesn't even have the ball. And Kafusi <laughs> is getting tackled and he's trying to say that he cocks his elbow when he goes down and puts it in. He really does not it's already all. It's already cocked. It's he already just cocked. leans into it. And it's like, as you fall, that's how you... The thing is, his fall. arm's already like that because it's holding the footy. I'm, and he's just like... I can see... I can see both sides of the argument, but there is not enough evidence to say you know what he intended. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 a, a contact that happens. Flick of I think that to be able to know what he was thinking, it's just there's not enough evidence. But to I show actually that. think there is n there is not enough evidence from what you see to say anything to to accuse him at all that it was intentional. Like there's just. There's not even there's not even a noticeable cocking of the arm, mm. a moving of the arm. There is nothing there other than the unfortunate connection it had to Sam yeah. Walker, who's like, which obviously, two we, yeah, we care. Well, like you don't want to do so, injured. Yeah, it's just it's just part of rugby that more is like, oh, that's the nature of the business, man. That happens well, sometimes. Well, so Storm challenged it. So so basically, the the issue that some people had, like Matty Joey said, he said, so Kafusi got fined eighteen hundred, and Joey was like, so they found him eighteen hundred. They're saying that it's he's guilty then. Um, and that they're by, Joey was like, look, if he's guilty, if he actually didn't, like, he's, that's an elbow to the head, it should be weeks. And so Storm came out and challenged the 1800 fine and said, hang on a sec, like, why is he getting fined? It was just an unfortunate situation that happened. And the NRL overturned the fine as well. Yeah. So the NRL agreed and said, there's no, we can't say he intended to do it. And Matty was saying yesterday that he, you felt that the NRL was saying it was still contact to yeah, the head. I, I thought they were saying, and I, I'm proven wrong here, but I thought they were saying that. They, they weren't saying it was intentional. They just said it was dangerous contact. Yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is, I understand where you're coming from. I think though that, and I, we spoke about it the other show, yeah. it's like, if you start pinging every elbow to the head in contact, oh, it'd mate. be nearly no, once a set. Sure. It'd, it'd be, be rugby union. Yeah, every single player after every single round would find themselves in the judiciary yeah. getting fined. Yeah. It'd be a fucking nightmare. Yeah, but I, At I, the end of the day, I really didn't see much in it. Whereas the Barnett one, I'm like, oh, that's fucking disgraceful. You're, you're going after him there, dude. Mm. Like you either wanted the throat or the chin or the temple or... The Barnett one was all of them. fucking disgraceful. <laughs> it was bad, man. I love that Kenty sees it that way. Or not even sees it that way, but that's the way he's choosing to go after it. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, that is fucking dribbly. <laughs> Like probably the dribbliest thing I've seen out of Kenty this year. Only defending Barnett, yeah, but defending Barnett, yeah. is the biggest <laughs> dog of all time. Yeah. Mate, it's good stuff. But it's yes, that's the it's thing. It's good stuff. It is. It's we almost can't like look away. he's literally saying to the boys backstage in the green room, yeah, "Watch this. Lock what I'm going to try and get away with this week." Yeah. It was yelling. It's almost like a competition where there's like money on the line. And Who can see, get away with the biggest he yarn? Was young, like that's why I love Brent Reed, who's probably like one of my fave journos just generally. But like he was just trying to argue that Kafusi, like he was on side Kafusi, just getting shouted down. I was like, being on that, <laughs> being in that situation would be, as a viewer, it's great. But as like the person, I'd, oh, be, yeah. I'd be like losing my fucking mind. I'd be screaming. Well, you know you've got to, you have to. You have to just scream back. <laughs> you want to get a word in? You've got to, you got to raise the decibels, dude. It's great TV. It, it's just great TV. Imagine that show without Kenty. Still haven't heard anything from Brace about managing. Yeah, what is going on with that? How many times he's you actually mention? gone? How many times you're going to mention? Really quiet. Really, really quiet. How many times have I to mention? Seriously, like, I feel like we're not being respected as a podcast. It's starting to fucking piss me off. I, that's you what I feel, feel like? Yeah, I, I, feel like. I think it's moved beyond feels like <laughs> and into the realms of we are being disrespected. Yeah, we're being disrespected. Because, like, I get it, Braith, you're hot, you're thick, and you've got a lot of power, but we, still, we matter too. Manage us. Yeah. I hope that power's not going to your head, bro. Yeah. We're worth managing, A couple managing, of fucking, bro. what, 13, 14 shows on, you know, as host on 360, yeah. and all of a sudden you're, you're, too, managers? you're too good for the DMP? Is that what this is? Managers. Yeah. Are you, you, what, you're allergic to money? <laughs> Are you allergic to money? Son, I feel like you're allergic to money. Seems like it.
Seems like we're, it. We're, we're, look, there's a golden goose over here, dude. Golden Laying goose. Golden egg. eggs. Mm. And y- fry a couple up. You don't want a part of that. Well, that's. Don't you like eggs? Don't you? <laughs> golden eggs? You How do you up. like your eggs? Poach? Yeah. Whatever. We'll do that. We'll we'll do poach, poach, dude, you want to scramble? I'll scramble those bitches. 100%. Fucking oath, I will. I'll put, put an a bit of feta in there, dog. Deviled eggs. Yeah. Devil them? Sure. Soft boiled, hard boiled. Poach? Scramble? Whatever fry. you want. We can do that. That's what we Sunny offer. Sunny side up. Sunny side up. Sunny side down. Honestly, Flip. eggs are so nice. Eggs are great, dude. They're fucking so nice. Eggs and they're so are good for you. probably the best fucking. They're, you know what? They're the best like ratio of good for you, but really tasty. Mm. Are they bad for you no, at all? No, they're good for you. I think. Well, I, think I don't want to go down this path. No, no, no. I think it's like if you have shitloads of them, they're not great for you, but there's like good fats in them. So you're, all, you're good. So if I have like two a day. No, you play on. I don't want to hear eggs are bad. You know no, what I mean? No. Like sometimes I feel when they they're go down. bad the, if you like with the bacon. Like when people are like, oh, apples, apples aren't good for you. I'm like, how far are we going down no, this road? No, that's journey? bullshit, dude. Like You're how, saying apples aren't good Like for you. how far are we going down we this road? We never route? heard an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Exactly. How is it that apples could be bad for you if the saying literally says an apple a day will keep the doctor away? Mm. That's a good point. That's a good point. Why would that be a sign? I've never, I've actually never heard someone say that an apple's bad for you. No, it was just an example oh, okay. of like outrageous things of like. People would say that. Donate, don't drink, uh, uh, don't. Eat apples because it has high in sugar or yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. like that. But then you also got like once a month on a current affair. It's like, will a glass of wine every night be good for you? I'm like, well, fucking hope so because I'm doing it most nights. <laughs> It'd want to be. I feel. I just feel like a good, honest, true meal where you don't care about what the result is has been ruined by information and reality. Yeah, and I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, or you just prescribe to <laughs> fuck it. Just exercise. Fuck a footy. Yeah. Sometimes you got to play life. Moderation, Dan. Mm. Okay. Moderation. So like, look. I love a Galo's. Do I have it every day, every meal? No, I don't. Yeah. I offer restraint. Yeah. Mm. I love chocolate. Do I eat it every single night? Yes. Yes, but do I eat heaps <laughs> of it every single night? No. no. And you train your ass off. And and I but, train. but you know that you shouldn't be eating it every single night. I know that. Yeah. But if it's there. But at least you know it. But if it's there, I'm, I'm obviously going to eat it, right? But at least you know. That's don't what I'm saying. fucking leave it in the kitchen. If You, you know, know the value of moderation even if you don't follow it. Correct. And that's all that really matters. That, that is, is. All, all that really matters. It's all about knowing. <clears throat> yeah. So manage this breath, please. Um, get back to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, so Fox Sports talking points. Uh, Griffin has urged, has been urged to have a real good chat with Zach Lomax. What do you guys, what advice would you give to Zach? He's a young, hot boy with a hot It's just like flick. a birds and the bees. Sit down, Zach. Have you ever, have you ever had a hand job before? Like, are we sort of <laughs> talking about that sort of stuff? Is it like that sort of a real good chat? I think the real good chat is more along the lines of his footy, but... Oh, so it's, it's not about how to put on a rubber? Yeah, <laughs> z- sit down, Zach. Let me put this on for you. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to pinch the tip, Well, I think, I think he shows him on yeah, himself. On himself. Know. On a yeah. banana. Yeah, no, on himself. No, on himself. Well, now, if you on pinch a banana, the tip, sure. you gotta, yeah. If you don't pinch the tip, you're running the risk that thing's going to explode mm. and you're going to be a baby daddy before you want to be. Pinch that tip. Yeah. Oh, what about like... Um, like some people are like spermicidal oh, yeah. lube also oh, yeah, good. The, the condom doesn't fit, and it's like, bro, they can literally fit over watermelons. What you can are you fit one over about? your head. We're not, <laughs> we're not fit. all fucking, you yeah. know, George Burgess or doesn't the sheriff. Fit. Some people don't have the dexterity to put on a condom, and that's just a fact. <laughs> well, that's I think why that Griffin's been urged to sit down with Zach and be like, bro, get the dominion. Show you how to do it. Well, like his hand eyes gone. Well, I just think that Zach's probably maybe. Flirted with danger more often than that. that's what a flick pass is, dude. A flick pass is caution to the wind. You know that's, what? Right, not, that, that, it's the bareback of rugby league. It is. It's it? barebacking. You know what? We'll throw a nuke into any room. If you're having a drink, partying, or whatever, like if people you don't know, some you do know. If you just just like say loudly, "Oh, anyone got any dummies?" <laughs> <laughs> I used to do it at Benders all the time, and people were like, "What the fuck? What's going on with this guy?" Yeah, that no, that would work. It's such a, a uh, like. It's a positive thing. It's safe sex. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's like but it's so taboo weird, to like... It was like, just a weird like question to shout yeah, from yeah. the rooftops. How long, how long did you walk around with a dummy in your wallet for? Oh, mate. Like when did, when did, the, do, when did the dummy... I had one next to my bed, so I didn't have it on me. I wasn't working like... I'm not working like you, Eddie. I'm not working fucking with it in the See, wallet. Mate, like, you're a footy player. Yeah, you should have. You, you should have been. You should have been. You should have had a condom necklace or something. <laughs> 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 nah, next to, my, next to my bed. Next to my bed. Just had them there. I had them in the wallet for sure. To the point oh, where fucking hell. Leave. Never know when you might use it. Never, never used it, but no, you no. never know. You get it's the, been there for 10 years. Yeah, you get the ring in, in the wallet because it's been there for so long. You're like, oh, this isn't good. <laughs> you so would actually, the leather. Yeah, the, the leather, leather would, would start up. to raise. It looks like a crater in the fucking wallet. Like, Do wow, you remember your first sex ed talk in school? Yeah, it was on the uh, overhead projector. Yeah. They put on like, 
this is a vagina. And then you, you know, you well, the I, I remember succinctly. And yeah. I remember our teacher was like, the penis can only enter the vagina if it's erect. I remember that. It's like burning <laughs> I remember my succinctly brain, dude. A really weird I won't thing. give away the teacher's name, but I remember his name too. Well, our, ours, <laughs> is a, ours is a woman and she, she was telling us how... Now, some of you might think that when you need to go to the toilet that your water is in your balls, but it's actually not in your balls. It's in your stomach. It's Wait, you tell me that urine doesn't come from my balls, Dan? That's some real Queensland <laughs> shit. Yeah, we that weren't is. taught that down here, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, real. We were like fucking young as shit. Is, your weed does not come from it. your balls. We're young as shit. <laughs> that is absurd Queensland shit, dude. No one was taught that down here. No. So you're telling me as an eight, eight or nine-year-old, you knew all about the anatomy of the body. I knew that piss didn't come from my balls. But you, you like what I'm talking about is my, enough no, for a teacher to, to not know to say that to the people. I didn't need to be told that my piss didn't come from my balls. Yeah, I don't remember that getting taught. No. In New South Wales. <laughs> oh, no. Give me a break. We no, honestly. To, I don't, I don't that wasn't in the New South Wales. No, I'm not saying, I, I, what I'm saying is, is it's not unreasonable for young men to think that. Uh, never crossed my mind. Never. I will. I, I will. I, I remember. Think a, of this crazy of dumb shit that you've thought. Well, I made a mind came to school. It was probably year one or year two, and was like, I figured out what sex is. We're like, what is it? He's exactly. like, the penis going into the asshole. Exactly. But that's still pretty that's still close. close. I mean, you could still call that sex. It's just called. Yeah, the but bum we've sex. all we've all believed some pretty stupid shit before that, the internet. That's honestly. That, I, I wanted. I want to come and defend a mate, mm, but I can't because that, no, that that's, that's sort of rhetoric. So you're telling me you've never had some outrageous belief? That, I just told you one that was outrageous. No, you. You have never had an outrageous belief when you were younger. I used to think a blowjob was exactly. Boom. There's another one. Yeah, but blowing on a urine out of the out of the testes. No, I didn't think that. No, I never thought that. And I'm also, not saying I think that I thought that. I'm saying it's reasonable like you, for her to assume there might be some kids in there. Sounds like at eight years old. Well, because she's teaching Queensland. You have to be explained <laughs> to that you it. didn't pee from your balls. <laughs> okay. I a blowjob. And I remember like, as a kid, I will say, as a kid, I was like, "What the hell?" Because the feeling is not there. It's here. It's up here. And you've like you've I held under your urine many times. I by know the way. where my balls are. You know, and I think with a blowjob, the it's like here, not there. A blowjob can be confusing if you don't know what it is. Because like we're blowing. That's blowing. On yeah, a dong. I get Whereas pissing out of your testicles, <laughs> no, that's not where the water is is stored. Right. Yes, but I, just, I I remember it because I was like, looked. To the you were like, like, wow, like, what really? Fuck? No, it wasn't like that. I, was I like, thought that the all the urine was in my balls. What, what, miss? Do you have anything that like outside of obviously sex ed that you believe for a very long time and were embarrassed when you found out? Oh shoot, that was like really stupid. What, only oh, one like, only one comes to mind because I was thinking about it literally two days ago randomly and I do not know why. Yeah. I thought for the longest fucking time that if cars had like air vents in them, that was air conditioning in the car. <laughs> I didn't know that. It, was, it wasn't for a long time that yeah. I realised that, you know, there needed to be actual air conditioning. <laughs> like those vents. That's, that's, uh, you those know what? vents are just vents. You know what? I'll pay that. As I'll in when pay you're that. in the car. So like the vents in a car, yeah. I yeah. thought that was air con. I thought if they had the vents... Cars with air conditioning. I, I thought oh, I would have thought that. Yeah, I thought the same yeah. thing. But so don't they? I thought all cars with that would have air conditioning. Or you're saying you're just having the air comes through? I remember. No, they all, the vent, like, cars without air conditioning still have the vents. Okay. I don't think that's that weird. I thought Santa was real until I was 10 and I was at a family friend's place. 10. Yeah. And oh, the guy was I like, was the mum was like, Santa's not real. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I, know, I knew that. And then I like went to the other room and cried. You <laughs> So, I like, told I'm my not. brother when I found out, I told my brother, because I'm like, well, fuck it, he's not known. <laughs> like, ruined, like, he would have been like six. <laughs> I, when I was six. Well, if I was like nine, him. he was oh, probably six. When I, was, when I was quite young, uh, I used to really believe that when parents used to tell you, don't make your, your face like that, because when the wind changes, it'll stay. Mm. I truly believe that was true. No, I remember And it rattled that. the fuck out of me. And yeah, I was like, yeah, that, that one was thrown around. Yeah. If you watch Maybe TV. it was in a book. It was actually in a book. Really? It's in a children's book oh, that okay. happens, and the guy's face literally changed. But there was yeah. also one that you watch TV for too long, your eyes turn square. Yeah, yeah. Top, yeah. That one. I'm Fuck. Like, Jesus Christ. That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> oh, man. When I was younger, I someone in year two told me that Tasmania got blown off by war, like off the mainland. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I believed it for about three or four years. <gasps> Far out. Nothing is dumber than you thinking that you pissed from your balls, though. <laughs> I will say that. Didn't think that though. But you, you did check the tape. He did say that. Right? <laughs> I will say, you know what we'll do? Not not uh, sex ed stuff. Cr crazy, stupid things that you have believed, like we've just talked about. Mm. Not sex ed stuff. Normal stuff. The best answer: we'll get a free case of sex ed bar. stuff as well, though. No sex ed stuff. It'll get Why? deleted because I don't want sex ed stuff on the comment section of the YouTube. 
Oh, but like it's fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just know there'll be some punter out there going, I'm just going to make something yeah, up. And it'll be fucking mental. Up. So any any of that stuff will just get deleted. But funny stuff like him believing Tasmania got blown off, me believing your face will stay the same if the wind changes. Did evidence. you ever think that Brian was like, God pissing on you? <laughs> no. No? You know what? With God, even from a young age, I was like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like some Young dude, atheist. Yeah, young atheist. That'll be your rap name, Y U N G, young atheist. Because <laughs> I, I was like, what? So some dude just like said, like, for example, everyone's like, with laws, like, everyone's like, oh, that's the law. But it's like, bro, a normal person made that law. It's just like a normal person saying something. Mm. And so it's like the Bible, first of all, it was written like six. Anyway, we'll get into it. No, listen, <laughs> we get it, dude. Uh, sorry to all of our religious audience there. Denon hates God. Don't hate God. He hates God. Respect. I respect your belief. It just for me, I am I'm agnostic. I also am with you there, but I was like never one where I was like, I don't believe this shit. I was always like, well, yeah, I guess maybe. And then one day, like when I was fucking honestly, like in year twelve, one of my mates was like, Bro, are you fucking serious? Shout out to Joyce. And the way he explained <laughs> it to me, I was like, I went I was in the room being like, Oh yeah, maybe God's real. And I left the room going, huh, I'm a fucking idiot. He's right. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I was always like, it just doesn't make sense. No but disrespect. I do believe that it does have a positive impact on humans sure. like, to believe in something. I also that believe that there's enough that makes zero sense at all about life that I wouldn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So That's yes. a good point too. It's a good point That's too. Good point. Good what point. Are you agnostic, Eddie? Yeah. 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 Maddie, what about yourself? I am, but I, I'm kind of in Tom's camp, but probably more so. Like I thought it was full on fact, like – because I went to Catholic primary school, Catholic high school. Oh, so I went, I went to as well, Catholic yeah. primary and high. But my mate Murray pretty much did the same thing to me, Tom. And like, we're around a campfire, and he's like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And just explained it to me, and I was like, "Yeah, true." It's a great point, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't even know what fucking school I went to as a Catholic or Protestant, or I don't, I don't get any of that shit. Well, you would, no you would have been called like, for example, I don't even know it was Saint Kevin's. No, neither. Mine was Saint Kevin's and Saint Michael's. Like, so, so it's, if it's a saint thing, saint it's whatever, Catholic. it's usually a Catholic school. Okay, yeah, right. like we had morning prayer. Um, all that kind of we shit. We had chapel and shit, but I don't know. That we, was, yeah, the only the only difference between the denominations that I'm aware of is that Ag Anglican was because the king wanted to have multiple wives. Yeah. Isn't that literally it? Yes. He, he annulled his, his um, broke away from the church and created his own church, I'm pretty sure, if we're talking about the same religion. Because, church of England. Because he, yeah, the Church of England. He broke away from the Catholic church because he wanted to have multiple wives. And they were saying, King, Edward, king George, King someone. And they weren't going to recognize. The, the actual, well, not the actual, the original church where we weren't going to recognize the divorce and the new marriage or something. And he was like, no, 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 make it work. It's a good show about it. I think it's, uh, oh, fuck. Well, obviously, you've got the Tudors series. I don't know if it was him that did it, King Henry. Was it King Henry that did King it? King Henry, maybe. Anyway, it's a great show. I forgot what it's called, though. There's got Tudors that I think, then you've got the other Bowling girl. I don't know if that was it, though. Anyway, sorry, guys. Sorry for uh, going off track. Let's go back to rugby league. Zach Lomax. The real religion. <laughs> the real religion. Um, and to be clear, I, I do think, you know, there's a lot of good in religion. There's, it's not just like anti, you know, religion or whatever. I think that it does have a lot of positive. Belief. Just my belief. And I respect people that have a belief in high power. Absolutely. Um, Zach Lomax, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Real good chat. Real good chat. I think we've... Any surprise? I think we've covered that. No, I think we've covered, we've covered it. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think the last 20 minutes was about Zach Lomax, was it? <laughs> Alex Johnson way. scores a hat-trick to score his try, 150th try. He scores a try every 1.19 games, meaning it will take him 74 games to break the 212 record set by Ken Irving. Irvine. How old is Alex? 26 27. or something. Oh, so he's, so he's, he's still he's, young and high. He's a fucking... It's three more seats. Three more seasons, excuse me, and then and he's done. Keep in mind, that record, he spent two years at fullback and only scored 12 tries in those two years. Wow. So it's a bit... He's a machine, bro. He's a classical winger. You know what I mean? I yep. think, like, we've we've gone so far away from that just a really good finisher to, like, these fucking hulks that break a million tackles and mm. go for 400 metres a game. He's a winger's winger. He's a winger's winger. We're proud he's of him. A you must. You a must. purist. You, purist. Because you're a purist. I'm a purist. You're yeah. a winger's winger. Yeah. A winger's winger. Does that get you? Does he get you going? Does he make you feel? Of course, he gets in the right spots. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's representing the wingers winger because, like, as smaller blokes, you was know, that a Hattie on the weekend? It was a Hattie on the weekend, and a Hattie the week before, or was it two Hatties in a row? Back to back Hatties, bro. That's good stuff. Mate, living the dream. Seriously, Hatties. Like, if you score a couple of tries, even if you didn't do much in the game, you're still like, oh, did my job. Oh yeah. Did you ever get a Hattie? Did you get a Hattie? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. You'd remember. Yeah, yeah, you'd remember. I scored four though. So you did get a Hattie. No, was that a hat trick? Well, yeah, you got four. 
You got a hat trick at some point, and then you got four. Okay. So you had a hat trick, and then had a hat trick. You got a four. I was like, yeah, four. And you get a four. Yeah, you got a four. Yeah, got a four. Well, no, not now. Really, no. <laughs> so you don't, you don't have a four. I'll score four tries. Right. But you don't have a four. <laughs> no, I've had four tries scored. You're right. No four. <laughs> okay. Um, I think Suwali, uh, Suwali, has he proven fit the right? I think Could he has. Could Suwali be an origin There's a bit shout? of chat about it. There's a bit the of chat. The way he's going to be fucking He's so good. It's a joke. The fact that his defence is so horny to me is almost more impressive than him flying up for balls and scoring tries. You're like, oh, this is a young pup who doesn't mind fucking the old dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking be eloquent. You okay, know? If I can, you know, if well, I can speak, that was I eloquent. Can speak eloquently for a moment, and yeah. it's not always eloquent on this show. Yeah, exactly. Well, rarely is, but, but you know, there's I mean, room for eloquence. Yeah, yeah, and that was that. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you the space. <laughs> he fucking he's putting shots on kick out and shit. Like he's he's not afraid to do the tough. Yeah, and he's stuff. so hot. And, and I'd also hot. I'd also like to point out that he's still thickening. I know, yeah, it's scary. He's, he's going to be so good. He's bro. not. He's not a thickened cream ready for packaging. No, no. you can't bottle him yet. No, no, you can't. He's on the thicken, mm -hmm. and when he thickens, oh shit! And he reaches 24, 25, 26, Crazy. Like, look out, yeah. bro! It's you are not going to be able to defend this man. He's going to be such a presence in the air. He's going to fuck you up in defence. Yep. And he does all the li like does the hard carries out of his end, mm -hmm. all the little things like the, the the little plays that you don't see. Like he, he doesn't rest on the fact that he's a genetic freak. Yeah. And you know you could argue there's plenty of clubs out there that would pay a lot of cash for him. He's like seems very humble. How'd the Rabbitohs like, fuck that up? Or is it the Roosters were better? But I just like think the, the fact that so he was at the Rabbitohs and then uh, it's I think like, it was Uncle Nick. Oh, I think no, it no, it's because <clears throat> Zawali wanted heaps of clauses to get out in the last like three years of his deal and South's like, no, we're not mortgaging our club for you. Should have done it though, right? Should have, would have, could have. I'll tell you what's funny is that Fittler picks him into the squad. Obviously, most people will assume that it's just to get experience, but there was a lot of naysayers. A lot of naysayers. Like, what the fuck is this? I honestly And then he goes that. on, nah, mate, it was out no, there. No, I know that like everyone spoke about the people that were upset. And I was like, oh yeah, that seems stupid to be upset. Like fucking Cobos in the Queensland side. Like it's not too far removed. But I was like, I never actually saw any of the outrage. I just heard people I saw talk a lot about no, that. No, I saw in the, a lot in of the comments. Was comments. Heaps, oh, okay, yeah, right. it was all in the comments. It's from the, the punter and the Dribble, dribbler. Right, the punter and the dribbler. And look, you've got to give the dribbler a bit of leeway to just have a bit of fun. Maybe well, they look, they're an emotional... You know, they're, allowed, they're entitled bunch. to their opinion and origin makes people emotional. I understand all that. All I'm saying is... You could comfortably put that him in selection, the jersey, he has gone on a serious rip and tear. Yeah, absolutely. He... Fuck, he's just... He's 18. It's crazy how strong makes he is in contact. Makes me sick how young he is. Yeah. Do you think Freddie gets risks at everything and puts him in there? Because that's a It'd huge call. Like, no, 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 like no, no. Why would you do that? Why why would who you are you putting him in there he for? Might, you know, look, look, so one did. But who are you putting him in there for? You drop, you drop. Well, what, maybe Tupo? replaces Tupo. I, no, I, I don't know. Does that I, come in? I'm not saying, five I'm in not. fucking two, bro. Out yeah, of car comes like, back. For example, there was so one Cobo Magic that scores a try. So maybe that same Magic Suwali has. Can I ask you this? I personally would have Fox there. Can I ask you this? Do you pick Alatrell Mitchell without any games? No, I don't right? know the answer to this, Edward. I, I don't think know. you do. I thought South was saying that he wasn't available. Well, they Jason Demetrio was fired up again this morning. He fired up again saying he's not match fit. Stop asking me questions about it. Who what? fired up? Demetrio. He fires up in every press conference. Demetrio, though. shut up. <laughs> the state's glory's at stake here, mate. Forget about the fucking South Sydney Rabbitohs that won't do a thing this year. Who cares? <laughs> This is about the Blues. And I don't think I'd you could, him. technically, I don't think you could block him. I don't think you could block him to play oh, in Oh, no, definitely not. Um, mate, I, I, am, I don't know what the right answer to this because Luttrell is a once in a generation and he's gone to Origin and dominated before. He was so good last year and he's looking the fittest I've seen him since he was like a teenager. They were just saying because he got COVID, right? That he's got a bit of like respiratory sort of like Well, that weakness. could be. Um, like it could linger for a Still couple 10 of weeks. days. We're 10 days out. Well, I know. I'm just I'm I'm just passing my message. I mean, like to be you fair, like I feel like you could have really used a guy like Latrell on the weekend because don't patronise us, Denon. Of course, we could have used Latrell. <laughs> well, could you know we, what? Could, could we have used, used a generational talent? Yeah. Uh, you, know, you could uh, use Andrew probably. Johns. You know what? <laughs> so well, before the game, Johns. before the game, it was like, no, nah, next man, oh, we're fucking gonna be sweet. Don't worry <laughs> about know, it. Now used... all of a sudden, I'm patronising because I'm yeah. saying he's fucking generational. You know, could have broken things apart. Imagine if like Thurston was fucking New South Welshman and he was like this age. Ah, uh, yeah. The good him. old fucking move the goalposts before the game. This fucking guy, dude. Jesus, mate. Before the game, we said, and it would be on tape that losing 
out and out game winners in Latrell and Turbo is not ideal. We would have said We that. would have said it. We I wouldn't have fucking have come it. in here and said otherwise because that would be completely and utterly ridiculous. We had faith in our boys to do a job. Mm. They did some sort of a job. But Latrell is Latrell. Yeah, but He's a motherfucker. Specifically with Latrell is that he has mongrel in him. That's and why I, like 100% he's full of cunt. And, and that's what we need. And that's what I'm saying. Like even, even I would say you could have lose, used Latrell arguably more than Tommy. Tommy is an incredible, obviously, player. But Latrell, I just think that... Queensland was so aggressive. I just didn't see. Sometimes I just didn't see that same aggression back, and Latrell no. would have fucking. I think we needed some of that in the forwards. You need mongrel. We needed need... mongrel in the middle. We didn't have mongrel in the middle. We needed more mongrel. Mongrel in the middle. That'd be a good show. It would be. You need you need mongrel in the middle. Yeah, with Brian Cranston as the dad. <laughs> That's exactly right, yeah. and. The guy who played Malcolm. Well, no, I don't think Frankie Munoz. I don't think he's. Well, he's replaced. Middle. Yeah, he's replaced by Latrell. By, by Latrell yeah. Mongrel in the middle. <laughs> well, or 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 a middle forward. Brian Cranston, Latrell. Well, Brian Cranston's reply Is replaced it? by Freddie. And yeah. then, and then maybe Frankie Jake Munoz. Jaboyage, <laughs> mongrel in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So I'd be good. bringing two mongrels in the middle back, yeah. Jake and Latrell, and that'd be it. Yeah. Again, Jake's passion would have and been Josh, really Josh Adekar. Mate, didn't he bounce back in a big, big way yes, on the weekend? Did. Five and two, dude. Um, unbelievable. Queensland have launched preemptive tack, uh, emptive strike to ensure NRL does not create a national reserve grade comp, uh, saying it would be bad for the game. What do you guys reckon about a national reserve grade comp? I mean, I'm, I don't have much of an opinion in the sense of like, would it be good? Would it not be good? I don't know. I don't have. Why an, would it be bad? I don't have enough visibility around what it would look like to comment. Why would it be does bad, does does the QRL and New South Wales Rugby League competitions do they not do the job to a degree now? From because well, like you know because each club is aligned with a feeder club, mm. so it is reserve grade essentially. Mm. Is that a big? Well, like the way you could look at it is basically the NRL aren't going to put. I'd assume again, I'm, I'm similar to you guys. I don't know the ins and outs. Maybe you know more about it, Matty. But they're not going to put a lot of money into the New South Wales and Queensland Cup because I don't think they make money back on it. Whereas if they were to create a national reserve grade comp, mm. then the NRL stands to profit off it. So they'd probably put a lot of resources into it. So the argument could be made by making a national reserve grade comp. Grass, the, the, um, the systems underneath first grade would get more resources and, and make it a better pathway to players to come through rather than, you know, a lot of players in Q Cup and New South Wales Cup but don't, don't train full time, don't... Like they've right. got to work. Would the concern stuff? be potentially that those clubs, those Q Cup clubs and shit, would kind of like f cease to exist? Uh, yeah, probably. So that's part of it. Another yep. part of it is that, like for example, in the seventeen Queensland, it's more Queensland than New South Wales, but the of seventeen course. Queensland plays for Origins, thirteen of them came from regional areas in Queensland, mm. and they were identified by NRL scouts because their clubs all, like dotted all over Queensland. If you had a national reserve grade comp, all those players would have to relocate to like Brisbane and. Gold Coast and stuff and players, right. you know, we might not have that. So, so we the could regional lose. football circuit <clears throat> fucking yeah. loses its luster. I just wish there was a way where... We don't want that. I no, just wish don't. New South Wales and Q Cup had more resources because I really think that they could build something good there and you want to be local. You want to be able to... Isn't know, it in I think the it's interest also like a of the NRL to invest in that though? Like how much He's appetite... They don't make money off it though. But how, much money, but how much appetite is there or would there be for a reserve guide competition? I wouldn't imagine much. But if you give so more resources to those, spin I think it'd be good to have a second tier competition that you'd like, mm. that you could watch. You know what I mean? You've got, like, we've got one. But no one really gives a fuck. Well, what's the difference? No, I'm saying, I'm well, saying like, if you can build up what's already there as opposed to doing the whole... Uh, national reserve grade, like, mm. and get people behind. Like, do I want to watch Manly B, or do I want to watch maybe a fucking work like a club where it's got a different, like, they might be aligned to Manly, but they're a different. Uh, yeah, like the like the Blacktown work. Yes. Yeah. How often, how often do you watch them? I don't watch any of it. I'm saying it'd be nice if you built that up mm. to a point that you did, and you're also like, then you've got like a second tier competition, a la Premier League sort of vibes. No, I agree with that. But I think that there's more value in pumping up existing clubs. That's what I'm saying. Mm. As opposed to a completely new competition. That yeah. would be my opinion. Because then it is a little bit more <laughs> Premier league vibes because the clubs are actually... They're, they're not all different, but there's a lot of different clubs. Mm. Yeah, look, I, I don't know what the right answer is. I, you could make the argument that, you know, fans would tune in to watch the, the Broncos reserve or, or whatever, be able to see the young guys coming through. Uh, also, I think if you were to do a national reserve grade comp, you would kind of change the rules so it's like a different brand of footy so that, you know, like for look at college uh, gridiron. 
like it's kind of a different vibe of footy to NFL because there's no money in it or whatever. Um, yeah, but now there's heaps of money in it. Fuck loads of money. Yeah, they just don't get it. Yeah, no money in it. Um, but like, the, again, the tough thing is, is like how do we incentivize the NRL and Q Cup and New South Wales Cup? How can we make it so that they're all profiting off it? Mm. And that's that. then we could start heading in the same direction. The problem is, is I th- I'm pretty sure they're separate businesses. So I think they do get grants from the NRL. but yeah, They get funding. They get funding, but it's not like... If they were to make profit, I assume they don't get the profit back or something like that. Well, I think half of it goes to state of origin. Like it's not, it doesn't all go to yeah. grassroots and stuff. My, my question, I've never understood why they don't, like keep Mounties, keep all the clubs, keep Wyong, keep Ipswich. But like, why don't they play them before NRL games and then let people go to the games before? Yeah, that, that is strange they used to, to do that? I they think- used to do that. As a kid, I'd go to all three games growing up and now it just doesn't happen. Well, I think... Maybe part of the reason would be, do they get money off having the games at their own home ground? That I don't know. Like they might, there must be a reason, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like if they go to ANZ, they probably get no money. Yeah. Way. Well, yeah. then maybe the NRL can incentivize yeah. it that way. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what the answer is. I'd have to look at the ins and outs of it, but it's... Um, I like to think there is an answer, although it doesn't seem to be immediately apparent what that answer is. Now, onto the preview. Dragons v. the Rabbitohs. Who have you got, boys? Dragons v. Rabbitohs. I have got the Rabbitohs. I think that even though they are what, you know, you'd call a disappointment in 2022 <laughs> compared to the grand final last year, no disrespect, Matty, they uh, sort of seem to be on a bit of a positive upswing slightly. Positive upswing. Dragons, mm. not so. So I'm just going Rabbitohs. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the Rabbitohs get the job done here, Tom, Denon. Mm. I think the Dragons have uh, they have started off the downfall part of their season. Yeah, it's mid-year Dragons. It's actually. mid-year Dragons, and they just sort of, you know, L, 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 W, Who's L, fullback L, L. for the Rabbitohs if tough on the bench? Uh, Nick, Nick, um, Nick Rima. Huh? Um, they've, commenced, they've commenced foot off the throttle. Uh, dragons, yeah. Downward swing, foot of throttle, slowing down. Yeah, this is a tough one. Coasting into mediocrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, ooh. Uh, are Rabbitohs at full strength, Matt? Uh, I mean, besides the trail. Yeah. Besides the trail. And like Adam Reynolds and shit. McCulloch back. <laughs> Game 300. <laughs> Fucking dog. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I'm going to get Rabbitohs just to get the win. Manly v Cowboys, DC gets back. Cotter and Nanai come back as well. I like that DC's back, but yeah. I've got to be honest with you. Just as like a just as like a little aside, Kieran in seven and Schuster at six has been fun. It's been fun. It's been like, really we've fun. had a great time. We've had a great time. We've had a lot of fun. The club's I pose grown it to from you. it as well. I don't know if I said it to you last we've week. Said it, you've said it many times. Maybe four and at six and DC at seven. Uh, other four way and around. Seven, other way around, and DC at six. I wouldn't mind it. I like. I honestly like Kieran Foran playing the steady hand at seven. I he's like steady. It. He's fair dinkum. He's, he's fair, fair dinkum. dinkum. Full of ticker. Then you get DC. He's got more room to fucking rip and tear. Yeah. I get what you're saying. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Now the man, like you're sure Cowboys, like woo woo. Who gives a fuck? We've had an all right season. <laughs> Manly's record over the Cowboys is Illustrious. phenomenal. Ooh. Also, it's we haven't lost a game at home this year. We haven't lost a game at home this year. Cowboys shit on the road. I think if you look into it, I think they really shit on the road. <laughs> I think Manly's going to have a big, big win. Mm. Big, big win. And there's value on Manly 13 plus this week, punters. Value on Manly 13 plus. Manly will win 13 plus. Okay, I'm That's going. That's a fact. You can take that to the bank. Okay. Bank it. I'm going to ca- go Good Cowboys. Answer. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, Storm versus Broncos. This is a time with the Broncos now, like you're, it's it's shitsville for the Broncos, unfortunately. You Reynolds out, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Michael um, Pride of about even fame reckons that Storm will win by fifty one points or more. Mm. How do you feel about that? Look, I think that we're missing quite a lot of players. Yeah, and it's <laughs> yeah. going to be a tough, tough gig. Also, Storm Pappenhaus and listed among reserves. He's actually got COVID. Yeah, just oh. just got announced before the show started. I think. Um, yeah, look, really tough game. I, I, the, the main thing I want to see from the boys is just that same attitude that we've had the last seven games, but it's going to be tough to beat Storm. Down in S- Storm territory, mm. we're missing, like, a bunch of players. Payne Haas out as well? Yeah. Yeah. But he'll be Oh, out. really? So what's the concern? AC joint shoulder. Both AC Both joints. AC joint. Both He's AC's. got no shoulders. So what, so no, no cold air? No ACs? <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Wow. That was good. I like that. Yeah, that was good. That was on your feet stuff. It was mm. quick. I liked it. Mm. Oh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so look, my heart says Bronx, but going to be a tough one. You're tipping against your side. 
That's, right. See, that's that's all you need to know about this cunt. He's tipping against his own team. Pathetic. Fucking hell. Uh, Sharks, Jesus Christ. Sharks that is Titans. disgraceful. I'd like to point out, Dan, that this game has been held at the International Stadium. Mm. International Stadium at yeah. Coffs Harbour. Sharks, from memory, love playing in international stadiums. Yeah, and I also think that what's what I like about the international sta- stadium at Coffs Harbour is that if you just name something an international stadium, it becomes an international stadium. <laughs> I don't know what's ever played there from an international context, but best believe Coffs home to one of the great international stadiums this country. I would have, I'd love to have been there when the councillors were coming up with the name and they were said, well, it's up, it's an international standard. Mm. It's mm. up to international standard. Yeah. Thus. Making it an international stadium because yeah. you can play international fixtures there. Yeah. You can, okay, which you they can because no, I'm can. pretty sure they played World Cup games. And also, there. Inter- and, and international field hockey, I think, is played there as well. And like, if they're like, "Oh, where should we play this international game?" They'd be like, "Well, let's just go to the international stadium." I can, mate. In our lifetime, they'll they'll host the World Cup final there. <laughs> The soccer World Cup final. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, it's so an international stadium. They hosted in FIFA, like soccer. Um, it's the highest scoring match in World Cup qualification history when Bang. Australia beat yeah. America so at 31-0. No. No, I believe you. I believe you. Yeah, so that's where this game's at, which is good for the Sharks. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good for rugby league. Well, and it's good for international stadiums. Yeah. It's good for everyone. And good for the air, good for Coffs Harbour, good for the big banana. Yeah. Bloody oath it is. Bloody oath it is. Yeah, the Coffs. So who gets to win? Sharks. Sharkies. Comfortably. <laughs> Easily. Yeah, I think Sharks could win. Well, I don't know how they can call it a stadium when there's only a thousand seats. Yeah, no, it, look, I mean, stadium, <laughs> again, stadium in the eye of the beholder, man. Stadiums. Like, let's not nit- nickel and dime these motherfuckers. Yeah, it's mostly grass, but fucking, you know, who cares? Mate, I, rem- I remember when we bought a, uh, a, to- a territory. What were they? Four territories. And we were sitting in it when we were kids, mm. and the, the guy selling us this car was like, look at the seats in the back, as in like the sixth and seventh seat. He goes, stadium seating. They're probably a millimetre higher than the other seats. <laughs> stadium seating. Stadium seating. So you can use the word stadium however you see fit. Yeah. <laughs> and whether it's 100 it. seats or 1,000, still a stadium. Now, uh, a or six seats, three seats. <laughs> could you Google this, Matty? Two um, seats. Two seats. <laughs> could you Google Tony Kemp, Warriors, Panthers? Because I'm pretty sure he said that he's worried that Panthers will score 100 points. Tony Kemp of doesn't mind a soundbite fame. I don't know who he is, though. I think he's a former coach. Does he have any relation? He, to me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. the only Kemp I've ever met. Yeah. He's, he's, he's the, the only Kemp, Kemp I well. recognise in rugby league. But is, I mean, there, is this guy coming for your, like, you're the biggest Kemp in rugby league, but if he's ooh, now trying to fucking... Is this a Kemp off, dude? Is this guy trying Maybe. to steal your fucking Kemp Holy spotlight? Shit. It's true. That's actually a good point. That's dude, good we point. shouldn't be giving this... this Fucking faux camp, any bloody <laughs> airtime. Yeah, I'm not comfortable giving this not, faux camp. Not my lick. camp. Not my camp. I'm pretty sure that he said that he he's worried that they'll score a hundred against. He's the also Warriors. the one that said Sean Johnson should retire, <laughs> which isn't. I'm not. I'm really. like you know, a hundred points may Dude, seem. Dude, I didn't realize Sean top, Johnson's like fucking got his wife and newborn child at home in New Zealand and can't see him. And I'm like, you know what, dude, might affect the way I was playing footy as well. I can't, can you find it? Oh, it's on Instagram. Yeah. SCN, SCN League. Tony Kemp is worried the Panthers might score 100 against the Warriors. <laughs> Holy shit. Kempy for breakfast. So oh, oh, Holy shit. Bruh. I'm getting out Kemp. Dude, you need to trademark <laughs> Kempy, bruh. Or oh, we should trademark Kempy and Sue and Buzz. <laughs> Razor, this is what we're doing. Yep, I'm right behind you 100%. Yep, yep. When they, when assistant coach has a... Okay, I, it, yeah, just, yeah, it yeah. says Tony Kemp is worried the Panthers might score 100 against the Warriors. Yeah, he's not saying that. Um, he's just, just talking about something else. Yeah. I will say I love the branding of SENZ. So do I. Works. It just works I like it. well. I like With that it. that silver fern across nah, it. Being it, a Kiwi myself think, as well, it makes me fucking well, it, emotional it for the mother. makes me feel things. Yeah. Makes me feel things. Um, but are you it, rattled by yeah, this? You keep going back to replaced, it. Dude. I'm rattled. Why do you keep staring at Kempy? Yeah, what are you going I, back into? Honestly, it for? I thought I was going to Kemp in town, but clearly there's yeah, another. Dude, camp. you're not even the fucking biggest Kemp on Sen. That's fucked. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked. That's I'm going to meet some people. I'm getting out Kemp. Kempy in the morning. And yes, Kempy, and they call him Kempy for too. breakfast. Yeah, Kempy for breakfast. Holy N- shit! Maybe he is my Kemp now. <laughs> Next week you rock up and it's just him here. <laughs> dude, let's get. Does get some Tony. That Kim would Jones. be hilarious, dude. <laughs> he just does the whole show. My camp. Yeah, my camp. Yeah. Then a photo of Tony. Kim. Will the real camp stand up? Um, <laughs> <laughs> how do you think this game goes, Warriors Panthers? Oh, mate, bloodbath. Absolute humping 
Humping. Are we talking hundred points? Well, I mean that's big. I've got them. Uh, I think I think I think forty. <laughs> yeah. Minimum. <clears throat> Far out. Now, Over's looking good. Now Volkman has been young gun. Volkman is debuting. Love that. I feel like could have probably waited another week. No, um, no, no. But get him in. Stacey. Good luck to him. Congratulations. He's a gun. He's an absolute gun. Get him in. Uh, cool and last, you know what? You got to play in a row. You're gonna have to play the Panthers. So exactly. I guess it's. Uh, so yeah, but I think the Panthers get a, a solid win here. Oh, you, good. Yeah, Yo returns as well, which is nice. Eels Roosters. Yeah, Roosters. Roosters. Yeah, roosters. I like Roosters. You can't you can't roll out that crap they rolled out on Monday afternoon and expect to get a W. So Eddie had a bet on about even. To, mm. He picked every single favourite, oh, and it was fuck. down to the final game and the they Eels. They hate you. Well, I was you kind of deserve it. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. He started going Absolutely. the early crow. He started preparing yeah. his fucking glow. But also, video. you talk shit about the Eels all the time. Yeah, I do. So okay. you kind of deserve you it. You know what, dude? And I wasn't on that. And mm. I say this: I don't know if there's anything more satisfying than like Mitchell Moses being disappointed on a footy field and just the footballer. Like I hate the Eels so much as like a club <laughs> that I'm just seeing it all happen. And I'm like, and then he's losing his bet as well. Like yep. it couldn't have been a better result. Wow. Wow, okay. If you weren't okay. on the eels, you would have been as hard as I was for that result. <clears throat> of course, but I was. It's unfortunate for you. You couldn't enjoy it. No, I'm never game. on the eels. Okay. Except then when I was, and they let me down. Oh, it was so, so yeah. good, dude. It's oh, re- hook put it this that way. shit to my veins. Put it this way. It's bro. reinforced my beliefs. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's reinforced the, the, my the beliefs. The sun is safe. Oh. The sun's the safe. The sun's never been safe. Here we go on eels, roosters. 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 I'm going Fuck eels. 13 eels. plus as well. 13 plus. Yeah, yeah. 13 plus. No, nah, Eels for a bounce back. No Raiders, way. Raiders, Knights. I like Raiders. the Knights. I like the Raiders. I'm going the Knights. Raiders. Raiders. Yeah. I'm going Five Knights. from six, baby. Six from seven. They're they're all right. Knights, Knights 13 call. plus. Whoa. No, Raiders. Uh, Bulldogs, Tigers. Doggies. Doggies. Yeah, I'm doggies. going Doggies as well. I'm going Doggies. It's funny how quickly people turn the Tigers. Like, everyone was like high for the Tigers after they lost every game at the start of the season and then they won. Everyone was like, fuck yeah, Tigers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck off, Tigers. Fuck the Tigers. Up the dogs. <laughs> doggies. All right, that is us. I, sorry, they just announced Sharks, Raiders, Cowboys, Tigers to join NRLW 2023. Nice. Congratulations. It's so good. Love that. That's expanded so quickly. Oh, um, yeah. Nah, it's incredible. Well done by the NRL and NRLW and all the girls that made that happen and women that made that happen. You uh, can call them girls, can't you? They are girls. Mm. Um, girls, women, women, and girls. Women, women whatever. Girls, ladies. Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice. A lot of women would have been, you know, they, they work full time and they still work full time and play full time, but there would have been a lot of people going out of their way to make this happen for different clubs. So now a lot of other young women will get opportunities. How many teams is that now? 10, I think. Sick. Fuck, that's it's impressive. incredible. It's incredible. In such a short time, yeah. it's fucking amazing. So there's a, there's a, they still have the comp this year. So yep. it's not this one, it's, it's for 2023. Yeah. Love that. It's great. great stuff. It's really good. So a lot of young girls don't have to travel so far. They can represent where they're from. It's really, really good. So congratulations to all, everyone involved. Really good, uh, really good decision. And hopefully we can get to 16 in the next two years after that. Uh, but that's us for the day, or the week, sorry. Go the Eels. As usual. <laughs> I'll go and fuck myself. <laughs>